the opportunity our leader, teacher, guide, messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. <clears throat> Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. There is no God greater than him. And there certainly is no God other than he. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. A God that have no errors, a God that doesn't make mistakes, God that's perfect in everything. To our viewers, this is our first webcast from our new international headquarters campus. We're presently in one of our gymnasiums and we're glad to come to you live, you that have a chance to log on and get the right information live like you've been getting when it's pre-recorded. Now let me say to all the church members around the world that may be logging on, I want to give viewers a chance to send in their questions. That's not in the church. Many times church members are right in, but we get thousands of questions from around the world from people that's not in the church and I don't want church members to flood the internet with questions but we want to give viewers the chance to ask questions so we can give them an answer because I had the privilege to talk to a woman yesterday 81 years old and rejoicing over the telecast but she had a very interesting question out of Memphis there's many churches that have the same name as First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. A whole lot of churches. And she wanted to know, was a church in Memphis, the same church that I was the overseer of? And I asked her for the address, and she told me, and I told her, no. Because there are churches, and I want you hard head viewers to hear me good. Because churches are called Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The name is not what make it the church. You can have the name, but there's a doctrine. There's teaching that go along with the name. If that church believed that there are three gods, <laughs> that's not the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. If they believe that women can preach and women can be deacons, that's not the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. If they have a rainbow flag, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. If they justify same-sex marriages and the preachers perform them, that's not the church that started on the day of Pentecost. See, when you say church of our Lord Jesus Christ, you're saying that's the church that started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem that Christ stand head of. When you deviate from the teaching of Christ, you're not the church. I just want you to be able to properly identify forgery. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a church that said that the church of our Lord Jesus Christ and believe you can divorce or divorce and remarry, that's not the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. If they say that flesh and blood is in heaven or flesh and blood came from heaven or Trinity, I just
just got a letter from a man that says he's an apostle. <coughs> I was reading it before Dan turned the pulpit over to me. He says he's an apostolic Trinitarian. <laughs> and he referred me to the scripture that there are three <laughs> that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. And he misquoted it. For the Bible says in these three are one. It didn't say if those three agree. Mm -mm. That scripture says that three are one. The Father is God. In fact, yeah. <laughs> Father is Jesus' title. Word is Jesus' title. Because the Word made flesh, then after he made flesh, the flesh took on the Word's name. And the name of the word is Jesus. And then the word which is God got in flesh and preached by the power of the word that was in him. Now you got the title of God, Holy Ghost, which means comforter or keeper. Not three separate gods or trinity. Trinity is a myth. That originated out of Rome. And they're going to go from Rome and Rome right into hell. All right, viewers. You get a chance to send your questions in live, God willing. I think we already have some. And then I'll get what we have. And But you follow me in the Bible and we'll go right to the Bible. All right, Dan, what do you have? And where is it from? Uh, we can't tell where this is coming from. But this person says, I have the Holy Ghost, the man I married don't but we were going to an apostolic church you didn't hear about marrying unequal and being unequally yoked till pastor jennings uh, spoke about this uh, she said i repent or she says i repented do god honor my marriage am i forgiven so what's the question i have the holy ghost the man i married don't but we're going to an apostolic church the question really is does god honor her marriage because now she's probably married to this uh, all right well if you are already married one is a believer and one is not. Right. Give me the seventh chapter mm -hmm. of the book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians. And I say to the unbeliever, if you wish to do well there, don't depart. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of First Corinthians, chapter seven, and we'll start reading at verse twelve. Follow me. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. All right. If any brother, if any brother hath a wife that have a not, wife that's not a believer, now hold it. The moment it says, if any brother. That means someone that's in the church, right. in the body, mm -hmm. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in town. Mm -hmm. What happened? If any brother has a wife that believes And not, yet he has a wife that's an unbeliever, not saved, don't right. have the new birth, mm -hmm. not in the church, mm -hmm. but yet they already married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she be pleased to dwell with him. What? Let him not put her away. You can't get rid of her because she's not saved. Right. And she can't get rid of him because she's not saved. And the woman which hath an husband. And the woman that, notice they got both of them. Right. Or they got to put the man in prison and put the woman in prison, turn the key and left you there until one of you fall out dead. That's right. Eh? And the woman which hath an woman husband. Woman that have a husband. That believeth not. That don't believe. And if he be pleased to Think dwell. Think of it. Yeah. Notice the language. Right. If he be pleased. If he be pleased. To do what? To dwell with her. If he want, listen, he may not believe in God at all. Right. Or rather, he believe in God and she may be an atheist. That's right. But because she's an atheist, he can't say, well, I want to get a saved one. Right. So he trade that Volkswagen in and get a Volvo. That's right. He can't do that. No. He can't do that at all. No, no. Then the Bible's dealing with Mary, one in the body, and one that's not in the body. Why is the Bible dealing with this? Because many of you held deserving bishops in Pentecostal and in so-called apostolic or apostolic in other religions are teaching the people 
that if both of you were sinners when you got married and then one of you got saved the one now that's a Christian can get rid of the one that's a non-Christian right. that's a lie that the devil has been telling through your pastor that's right and your pastor's lying to you that's right and this stuff is being preached all over but thank God the word of God is here that's it. to put everything in check and put everything back in order. That's right. You know the apostle Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. What did he say? And the woman which hath an husband. The woman that got a husband. That believeth not. And the husband is not a believer. All right, woman. You may be born of the water and of the spirit. You're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Know there's one God. And your husband is of the devil. A pure premium 93% octane devil. That's right. High grade devil. That's right. <laughs> huh? And he may not believe in God at all. at all. Listen at this. And the woman which has a husband that believeth not. Woman that have a husband that's an unbeliever. And if, if he be pleased to dwell if, with her. If, if he want to stay there. Let her not leave him. Wait a minute. He's an unbeliever and you're a believer. Right. And if he wants to stay there and yet he's still an unbeliever, that he, hurt. you can't get rid of him because he's an unbeliever. That's right. If he chooses to stay there and he's uh, an unbeliever, mm -hmm. then let the unbeliever stay there. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then the woman... notice how this contradict Bishop. Oh, yeah. This contradict the apostolics and the Pentecostals. Listen. And the woman which has a husband that Now we got the woman. If she got a husband that's an unbeliever. And if he be pleased to dwell with her. If he don't want to run and leave out because of her belief, then what? Let her not leave him. All right. So any preacher that give you counsel yeah. to do otherwise, mm -hmm. you're being counseled by the servant of Satan. That's right. All right. What's the next question? This question comes from uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, All right. It says, when the holy writings speak about devils in plural, yet we read in Jude that those angels that, were, that left their first estate, which, was, which were holy, uh -huh. are reserved in prison. Can you please talk a little about these devils, quote unquote, and evil spirits that we read about in certain passages of the Holy Scriptures? Yes, I do that. I know. Now, uh-huh. I know this is a deep topic, this person says, but the Lord made you a deep sea diver. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Gina. All right. Let's go to work in this. Now, preachers have said when the Bible pluralizes devils, and people may be filled with devils, like the man Legion. Legion. It says, for we are many. Yeah. Preachers have said that Legion wasn't just Satan, but it was Satan and the fallen angels. No, it was not. Oh. No, it was not. All right. All right, give me the book of Jude now. In the book of Jude, chapter I want one. to show you the location of the fallen angels mm -hmm. and where they are right now. That's right. Eh? Let's lock this down with the Bible. In the Come book on, of Jude, son. In Jude, chapter 1, we're at the sixth verse. All right. And the angels. Wait a minute. And the angels. Which kept not their first estate. And let's remember it was a whole third that was put out. That's right. An entire third was cast out. That's right. Because they took sides with Satan and war broke out in heaven and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Thank God, but the dragon didn't prevail. Mm -hmm. And when the dragon was put out, uh, the apostle declared, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Amen. All right. And the angels which kept not their first estate. What happened? But left. They left. Their own habitation. Why did they leave? Because God put them out. That's right. And when God put you out, you can't stay where God put you out. That's you right. just got to go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He has reserved. All right. Now, the angels that was put out, they are not roaming around nowhere. No. Nowhere. They're not in purgatory, they're not in heaven, they're not roaming up and down the earth either. That's 
That's right. All right. He has reserved. God got them reserved where? In everlasting chains. Where are they? In everlasting chains. How long is those chains? Under dark, everlasting. Everlasting chains. Everlasting. They're in prison. Right. What? Under darkness. Unto darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. Now the angels that was put out of heaven, they are reserved in the chains of darkness, and they're going to be there until the great day. And that great day is the coming of the Lord. Right. Now there's going to come a time that the church is going to judge the angels. That's right. And the angels that's going to be judged are the backsliding angels, right. which was cast out for taking sides with Satan. That's right. Now when the Bible talks about devils, devils. Glory to God. We're in the book of St. Mark now. Follow me quickly. Mark chapter 5 and we'll start reading at verse 3. All right. Who? Uh, at verse 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. Uh -huh. And when he was come out of the ship. Yeah. Immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Notice. Spell spirit. S-P-I-R-I-T. First, first is singular. Right. Notice it says a man with, with the unclean spirit. spirit. Right. You know what it says? That's a right. unclean spirit. I want to itemize this itemize. and take it apart. Come on, son. Who had his dwelling among the tombs? Uh -huh. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Then what? Because that he had been bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, uh -huh. and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Yeah. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying mm -hmm. and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And said what? And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? What do I have to do with you? Jesus, thou son of the most high what is God, it? I adjure thee by God that thou What did Jesus say? For he said unto him, Come out of the man. Come out of the man. Thou unclean spirit. Notice he keeps singularizing it. That's right. Thou unclean spirit. All right, real quick. And he asked him, what is thy name? What's your name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion. My, la my name is Legion. For we. What, what do the word Legion mean? We are many. That's right. We are what? We are many. But when Jesus told him to come out, what did he say? Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And what did the Spirit say? My name is Legion, for we are many. Amen. Eh? Amen. Right. Now, Satan is one. That's right. Yes, he is. Huh? But there's many attributes or characteristics of this one. That's right. right. He produced a whole lot. Oh, yeah. That one devil That's right. can have you with the spirit of adultery, yeah. the spirit of fornication. Yeah. Yeah. Can be a lying spirit. That's right. Can be a spirit of idolatry. That's right. There's a lot of attributes to the one spirit, the devil. That's right. And God wanted all of it. All, all of it. it. Yeah. Everything the devil had in that man. That's right. The devil want all of it to come out of I him. So yes, the devil, there's one devil, but many attributes to the one and devil. And all the devils besought him. What? And all the devils besought him. All, now here, here, listen. <laughs> all the devils besought all him. All the devils. All the devils. But it wasn't a group of devils that was cast out of heaven. No. Yeah, here, preachers, can you, can you soak hey. through that? Go ahead, go ahead. It wasn't a group of devils that was cast out of heaven. No. It was one devil. Right. And that was the dragon. It right. was not dragons. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's right. It was the great red dragon. That's right. The old serpent. The old serpent. Called the devil. The devil. One devil, but many characteristics and many attributes from that one spirit. That's so right. that's what that is. That's right. All right, Dan, come on. This question says, uh, what specific abilities does a man possess that a woman lacks with regard to scriptural decree that women don't belong in the pulpit? What is that question again? What specific abilities does a man possess that a woman lacks with regard to the scriptural decree that women don't belong in the pulpit? Position. Right. Give me the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Position and failure. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of Genesis, then I'll get the book of Timothy, and we'll see who the first one fell. Right. All right, give me Genesis 1, 26 and 1, 27. Genesis 1, 26. Read quickly. 
and 127. All right. And God said, let us make man in our image. Now, God made man in his image. Right. And being that God made man in his image, even God bears the title, he. Right. And God bears the title, him. God never bears the title, she. That's right. I want you to get this, so you that sang that song, he's everything, he's everything to me, he's my mother, that's a lie. That's a lie. You's a liar, you're singing a lie. That's right. God ain't never called himself a mother. Right. Uh -uh. No, 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 God don't bear the title female. No, because no. when God made man, man take on the characteristics of God and man was made in God's image. Right, right. Listen. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Let them have authority. Over the fish of the sea and, and over the fowl of the air what else? and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And what? So God created man. So God made man. In his own image. In his own image. In the image of God. In the image of who? In the image of God. In the image of God created he him. Now, let me show you the difference between the man and the woman. Mm -hmm. Notice the Bible says that the woman was made for the man. That's right. Not the man for the woman. That's right. Now, when the Bible said the woman was made for the man, the woman supposed to submit to authority, That's supposed right. to submit to the man. That's why the Bible says, wives, submit yourselves to your husband. Right. Now look at the church. The church bears the same title, woman, wife, bride. Right. And God bears the title, husband. So now the church got to submit to its husband. Right. And the husband of the church, or the father of the church, or the Lord of the church, is God. That's right. So just like the woman got to submit, thank God, to the man, the church got to submit to God. Right. So why would a man submit to a woman preacher? Mm -hmm. right. She's usurping authority right. over the man. Over the man. A Listen, here, yeah, yeah. here. If a man submitting to a woman preacher, that is equal to God submitting to the church. That's right. And God don't submit to the church. That's right. Eh? That's Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. The church, I said, must, must submit to God. That's right. All right, give me the book of Timothy, if you will. First Timothy chapter 2. You see, a lot of folk don't see the revelation in this. Right. They don't see how God fixed this thing up. You bad mind. Look at her. After God put Adam in a deep sleep, the woman was taken from the rib of man, and then the woman was brought back to the man that she came from. Right. Now, here come the elements of the church came from the side of God, right. or rather the side of the Son of Man, the Son of God, the body, Christ Jesus. They pierced him in the side. Out came blood and water. Thank God in here. And to get in the church, you got to have water. That's the only way you're going to get the blood. That's you right. got to repent of your sins to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now that makes you part of the bride. And that you and when you become part of the bride, meaning a part of the church, a member of the church, now you got to submit to the bride's husband. That's right. And the husband of the church is God. That's the right. The Bible said we have one husband man. That's right. Huh? One husband man. All right, listen at this. First Timothy chapter 2, we're at verse 11. Uh -huh. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. With all subjection. With all subjection. But I suffer not a woman I to suffer teach, not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Read quickly. But to be but to be silent, silent, silent for Adam was first formed. But Adam, listen at this. Adam was first formed. Adam was first formed. Then Eve. Then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. Listen, that's the way the church was set up. Right. The Son of God came before the church, starting on the day of Pentecost. That's right. The Son of God came before the church started on the day of Pentecost. Why? Because you need a sacrifice to get the church. That's right. Without a sacrifice, you couldn't have no church. That's right. So he come along tabernacling in a body that consists of blood. He came by blood and water. And, water. and in that body that had blood and water, spirit was in there. And now we come along, have to take on the same thing that that body had when it walked earth. Spirit. Water and blood. 
Thank God when I get the water and blood, I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. When I get the Spirit, I'm filled with the Spirit, by the Spirit, from the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. So God never had given woman the authority to use up her authority over man. Right. So God have never called and sent a woman to preach the gospel. Because see, look at this now. Think of it. In the Old Testament, when a woman have a male child, after the male child is born, she's supposed to be home for 33 days. Right. So whatever God said, if she have a female, she's to be home, I believe, about 66 days. But God tells the preacher, you got to be instant. That's right. In season and out of season, you got to keep going. That's right. it. You just got to keep preaching. That's right. Amen. So, yes, uh, it's not given to the woman to have authority over the man. An apostle is one with authority. A prophet is one with authority. The bishop is one with authority. And God did not give that to the woman. Right. And this is not male show for chauvinism. No, this no. is nothing but biblical law That's it. that our heavenly father put in place. That's right. And I know you hell bound devils that want to alter that law, but God won't let you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I say God won't let you. Yeah. All right, Dan, what else you have? Uh, this one, this uh, particular uh, question comes from uh, Taiwan, I believe it is. All right. Uh, Brother Devon, he says, Greetings, Pastor Jennings from Taiwan. A lot of false prophets in the Christianity religion, quote unquote, use 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 30 to say we don't have to speak in tongues to have the Holy Spirit. Can you clear this up, please? And thank you. Beautiful letter from Taiwan. Now they're logging on live now. All right. This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 30, is it? All right, yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 30. Let's find out why these devils don't want to speak in tongues. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 30. All right. Have all the gifts of healing. What? Have all the gifts of healing. No. Mm. No, everybody don't have the gift of healing. Right. I want all of you that don't believe in speaking in tongues to hear me and follow what we're outlining. That's right. The Bible, you, you better begin at verse 29. At verse 29. All right. Are all apostles? No. Mm. Amen. Bible just asking questions, is it not? Right. Justifiable question. Are all apostles? No. Amen. An apostle is God called, God sent, God anointed, God made, God authorized, God taught, and God appointed. God revealed himself to him. Right. Now I know many of you say there are no apostles now, but that's another lie to hell because if it is no apostles, there's no church. That's right. And God put on, you better begin at uh, verse 28. Uh, verse 28, if you will. 1 Corinthians 12 and at verse 28. 1 uh, Corinthians 12, 28. Listen at this. And God. Who? God. Not Geno Jennings. God. Mm -mm. That was written before I was born, before my mother was born, before my mother's mother was born, before my mother's mother's mother was born. <laughs> this was written here. That's right. That way everybody come after what's written, got to follow and believe what's written or go to hell for your unbelief. And God, God has set some. Has set some. In Notice. Some. Some. Notice. Everybody in the church is not apostles. That's no. Right. That's right. And if everybody in the church is not apostles, then everybody in the church don't have the authority of the apostles. That's right. And if everybody in the church is not apostles, then everybody don't have the knowledge of the apostles, don't have the revelation of the apostles, don't have the insight like the apostles. That's right. Eh? That's it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What did he say? And God had set some. God had set some. In the church. Who did it? God. Who did it? God. That means your bishop can't lay hands on you and ordain you an apostle. That's right. Who it got to come from? God. You can't have no one vote in you and, and just come along the board of directors make you the next apostle because your fake bishop died. That's it. Who got to do it? God. No, you can't jump up and say you're an apostle because your wife is bored being at home and she wants <laughs> to be the first lady in some rotten church. That's Who right. got to do it? God. Glory to God that blocks you everywhere you go. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. God. It Hallelujah. It blocks you right. everywhere you go. Right. Who got to do it? God. And you say there are no apostles now? God has said some in the church. That's God that never changed it. That's right. God said he said some in the church. In the church. That means he deemed some to be qualified. That's right. That's in the church. First. Notice you got to be in the church first to be made one. In the church first. Eh? That's right. God have said some in the church. Now I know a lot of you Hallelujah. would jump on that statement and say, wait a minute. Paul wasn't in the church. When God made him on the road to Damascus, Paul didn't, wasn't made. On the road to Damascus. No, he, he was called. Oh, yeah. <laughs> eh? 
That's he right. was called. That's right. But he wasn't made. That's right. God simply told him that I have appeared unto thee this day to make it. To make it. But he wasn't made then. Why? You can't make a man an apostle and you ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ right. and you don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Someone say you're wrong there. The apostles were apostles when Jesus was here. Well, they had the title apostles, but they did not fulfill all the apostleship. Right. Well, they didn't have the Holy Ghost. They didn't need it. That's right. Because Jesus was here. That's right. And they said, as long as I'm with you, right. I'll keep you. I'll keep you. But I got to go away from you. Yeah, that's right. Man. Yeah. Wonderful. And I send you a Another comforter. That's right. Thank God you bear in mind when Jesus was here. Hey, you bear in mind when Jesus was here. The apostles didn't need the Holy Ghost. That's it right. was walking around with them That's in right. a body. That's right. right. Talking to them. Hallelujah. Amen. Walking with them, talking to them. Amen. They said our hands have handled. Right. Blessed be the name of Amen. God. The word of life. But bless God after he died on the cross. Amen. And came on back the third day. The church had to get started. That's yep. right. And they come along and tell them, you go to Jerusalem and you stay there and tarry until you be endued with power from on high. Thank God and on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost fell, now the church get started. Right. The Apostle Paul was made an apostle after the church already started. That's right. And the Lord God put in, had it written here and said how he put some. Some in the church. Some in the church. First apostles. If, listen, if you follow the real apostle and he died, you just can't have the next man in charge jump up and say, I'm an apostle. No, Wait no. a minute. If you're an apostle, you shouldn't have been under one. That's right. Because an apostle don't receive their revelation from another apostle. That's right. Apostle Paul said uh, about the other apostles, they added nothing to me. Nothing to right. me. Eh? That's in right. other words, he didn't get no revelation from Peter. Mm -hmm. He didn't get no uh, uh, Thomas didn't help. Get, open his understanding to the God. But of these who seem to be some no, 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 no. The Apostle Paul got his information from God. That's right. He said, I didn't receive it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation. So if you're really sitting under a God sent apostle, and that apostle died, the one that come after him cannot say he's an apostle after he was taught by an apostle. That's right. Can't do that. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. God, had, God set, had set some in the church. Oh, there's order to the church. Oh, yeah. He ain't just set up a church with no rules. No, no. And no regulation. No, no. And no order. God has set some in the church for his apostles. Secondarily, prophets. prophets. Thirdly, teachers. teachers. After that, miracles. After that, you got miracles. Then gifts of healing. Then gifts of healing. Helps. Helps. Governments. Uh -huh. Diversities of tongues. Yes. Are all apostles. No. 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 Everybody know apostle? No. No. An apostle don't believe in Trinity? No. The devil don't even believe in Trinity. That's right. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Are all prophets? No. No. <laughs> all right. Are all teachers? No, oh Lord, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> hey Amen. Some of these things about as dumb as a brick. That's right. They don't know anything. That's right, sir. Because God told his apostles, go, go, uh, teach all nations. Teach all nations. Teach them. Teach, teach everybody. Mm -hmm. All right. Are all workers of miracles? Are all workers of miracles? No. No. Miracles. All right. Have all the gifts of healing? Do everybody have the gift of healing? No. 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 All right. Do all speak with tongues? No. So I say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. How can you say no? No, everybody don't speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues is pointed to certain ones. That's right. <laughs> Let me show you who's going to speak in tongues. In the book of St. Mark, chapter All right, 16. follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me, Taiwan. All right. Mark, chapter 16. We're at the 17th verse. Mark 16, 17 says. And these signs shall follow them that believe. What, what, what will happen to believers? They shall speak in new tongues. <laughs> if you're a believer, that's what make one tarry. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am a believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm a believer. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost tell the believer to tarry. Tarry, that's right. Tarry, tarry. until. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus, come on back the third Hallelujah. day. Thank God that after he come on back, he appeared to his witnesses. Glory to God and said, These are the words that I speak unto you while I was yet with you, that all things 
must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their understanding that they may understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooves Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Hallelujah. And declared that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning Hallelujah. at Jerusalem. Thank God he was talking to believers. believers. Thank God. And he told them, go to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do you want me to go, uh, Jesus? Uh, I, I want you to wait there. Wait. Uh, huh? Hallelujah. Now, if they didn't believe what Jesus said, they wouldn't have tarried. No, no. They, wouldn't, they, they would never have went down there to Jerusalem if they didn't believe. That's Thank right. God. But his believers, Hallelujah. glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His believers, Hallelujah. they went on to Jerusalem yes, from the mount that was Hallelujah. called out of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And they stayed there. Hallelujah. Tarry. Thank God and waited. Before you know it, uh, a sound comes from heaven. From heaven. Yeah. Uh, Hallelujah. And uh, that lets you know it takes believers That's to get right. heaven moving. That's uh, right. And That's if right. you are unbeliever, now get this. The reason why church fights speaking in tongues, because they don't believe it. That's right. If you don't believe it, the sign won't follow you. That's right. But what makes me keep telling you? If I don't, if I don't receive it Monday, because I'm a believer, I'm coming back Tuesday. Hallelujah! Uh, hey, hallelujah! Take off. Uh, hey, hallelujah! If I don't receive it on Tuesday, uh, I'm coming back. Uh, yeah, I'm coming back. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! hallelujah. Take off. Uh, hallelujah. Why? Glory to God because I'm a believer. So you that is in Taiwan, every boss church in Taiwan, and you can stick the rest of the world to it. That's right. That said we don't speak in tongue now. Speaking in tongue is only for the believer. These signs, these signs shall follow them. Shall follow them that believe. Glory to God. That's why you find them. You find a believer coming up in Africa. Amen. I thank God for the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. In Germany, thank Amen. God for the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. In Russia, thank Amen. God for the... Why? Believers. believers. A believer, listen. What make a person go job hunting? That's right. They believe they're going to get one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. I, didn't, I didn't find one Monday. I'm going back out Tuesday. That's right. Man. I'm going back out Thursday. That's Man. right. You know, belief make you do something. Man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe it, Hallelujah. Oh, it be to God. It'll it, 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 it produce something. That's Hallelujah. right. Amen. Faith without works is Wonderful. dead. Amen. Thank God on the day of Pentecost Wonderful. shows you that they believe because the Bible says these all continue. That's right. In prayer. In prayer. Right. They stay there, That's right. kept pulling on him over and over. Over and over. Over and over. Yes, sir. Yes, it be the name. Over and over. Amen. Belief make you stay there. Hallelujah. I want to say to everything Amen. in Taiwan, you come on and believe now. You come Amen. on and believe Amen. and Amen. seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. And the proof you got the Holy Ghost, you are speaking other tongues. That's right. Yeah. Eh? You are speaking other tongues. They yes, shall sir. speak. As the Spirit, as God, as Jehovah, yes, give the utterance. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Dan man. Come on. All right. This question comes from Maria. What's that? She says, this question comes from Maria. I know in the Bible, I know in the Bible, the Bible says the woman's hair is her glory. As a woman, am I able to trim my hair, number one? Also, what if I don't always have my hair covered, example, with a hat? When I step out, am I dishonoring my head, which is my husband? First and foremost, the Bible don't says uh, the hair, and read it like that, the hair is the glory. Let's get all of it. First Corinthians chapter 11, and we'll start reading at verse 3. Follow me. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. All right. And the head of Christ is God. Yeah. Start at verse 5. All right. But every woman. Every woman. That prayeth. That pray or, or prophesies. With her head uncovered. With her head uncovered. Dishonoreth her head. Dishonoreth her head. For that is even all as if she were shaven. Now, let's get the scripture where if she have long hair, it's a glory. Verse 15. Her. Mm -hmm. 
All right. First Corinthians, verse Corinthians eleven and at verse fifteen. Listen. But if a woman have long if hair, if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. You see, if a woman have long hair, it's a glory to her. It didn't say your hair is a glory to God. That's no. Right. Amen. No. That's right. Mm -mm. That's right. No. 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 Your hair is not a glory to God. No. no, no. It's a glory to you. To her. Man. Now. Hair and head are two different things. Right. The hair is what grow on the head. That's right. Here, I want to itemize it because the Bible talk about both there. That's right. What did it say? Go back to verse, verse, five. verse 5. But every woman that prayeth. Every woman that prayeth. Or prophesies. Or prophesies. With her head. Having her head. Uncovered. Uncovered. Dishonoreth her head. Now. Your head is what your hair grow from. Right. So God tell the woman you got to cover head. Hey. The reason why I want to emphasize on that because preachers have said, well, covering your head means no hair is showing. That's not the truth. No. no. That's not the truth. The Bible were specific here. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head. With her head. Uncovered. So if a woman got her head covered, but yet there's some hair that hangs from the head. That seen she haven't violated no scripture. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I, want to, I want to make that plain because I had one bishop. He wrote me. He said, I agree with what you preach. But I noticed some of your women have a hairnet on. And some of the women don't have a hairnet on. And the Bible says that a woman supposed to cover her hair. He had it wrong. Right. The Bible didn't say that. It says cover her, her head. Her head. Head. Mm -hmm. You see, I believe what's written here. That's right. right. And I ain't going to make it more than what's written. Amen. Yes, some women, their hair is long. I got one young sister, a uh, little girl. I think maybe about 12 or 13. Uh, I think Sister Wednesday's daughter. Her hair, I think, may come all the way down, uh, pass away. So down, hanging down her legs. Yeah. So Sister Wednesday, most time would twist that up and whatnot. Uh, it would be interesting to find a net that long, <laughs> unless she got to get a fishing net to catch that stuff. That's right. She got to have her head, head. covered. Now, when you have your head covered, that's symbolic. That's right. Having your head covered is a symbol of power and respect that you show not only to man on earth, mm -hmm. but to the angels in heaven. First Corinthians 11 and at verse 10. Follow me. For this cause. First Corinthians 11 and 10 says, for this reason. Ought the woman to have power on her head. Power where? On her head. Where? On her head. All right, I want it to be good for you dumb bishops. <laughs> Amen. Because many of you is scripturally illiterate. Yeah. Some of you nuts have actually wrote me and wanted to argue and say, well, when the Bible says that the head of every, when the Bible tells a woman have something on her head, that's mean her husband. So mm. that mean her, the husband got to go around sitting on her head? My Lord. <laughs> you fool. That's a fool. There's a physical head. Right. Then there's something that's on the head. Right. That's right. Man. And you think God was telling, them, listen, let me soak you. A woman husband can die, mm -hmm. but she's still not left without a man over her. That's, That's right. right. Oh, yeah. That's right, sir. Yeah. That's right. Man. Well, my husband died. Ain't no man over me. Every man. The head of the woman is the is, man. What, what did he say? And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. No, just her husband. Is the man. No, just her husband. Is the man. No, just the husband. Is the man. Yo, um, you listen, your husband can die. You can get another one. He died. You get another one. He died. You get another one. He died. Right. But out of all your husbands that die, mm -hmm. <laughs> glory to God, you still have a head. That's right. Yeah. In order for a woman to go without a head on earth, every man got to die. That's yeah. right. The Bible says the head of the woman, of the woman is the man. Is the man. The and man. that's bigger than your husband. That's right. right. All right. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head. All right now, woman, you got to have power on your head. Because of the angels. Wait a minute. 
when a woman half her head now, and I want you churches, you, you women that are watching now, I know some of the churches you go in and you have this little thing. Amen. You know, this, this little piece of folly. When I came out of falsehood, it's called a chapel cap. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, because you go in the petition parlor and got your head all straight and then dyed and all poofy. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just like the world. Amen. And then you don't want to mess up your hair, so you just set this little item yeah. on your hair. That, that don't cover your head. Stop yeah. being a fool. That's right. The Bible speak plain that if a woman pray or prophesy with her head, with her head uncovered. uncovered. That's right. She dishonor her, her head. head. So that means you cannot wish up God bareheaded That's because right. if you do, you dishonor man on earth and you yeah. also dishonor the angels in heaven. Let me show you what having your head covered means. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head. Because of what? Because of the angels. Because of who? Because of the angels. I want to say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Dennis. The angels are not man. The angels bear the shape of man. That's right. Amen. Let me prove this with the Bible. Give me the book of Daniel. In the book of Daniel, chapter 9. Uh -huh. And we're at verse 21. Amen. Yea, yeah, Daniel 9, 21 says. Yea, whilst I was speaking in glory prayer. Glory to God. Daniel the prophet said, while I was speaking in prayer. Even the man. Wait a minute. Who? Even the man. Who? The man. And what was the man name? Gabriel. What did he do? Whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly. And that wasn't a natural man. No. So, no, that wasn't no natural man because the Bible says who make it his angels. Sure. Spirit. Spirit. So when you have your head covered, that shows submission and honor to your husband and also to the angels in heaven. Not only that, the, if the Bible specifically tell a woman to have her head covered uh, when she's praying, and the Bible says man ought to always pray and not to faint, you don't want to be in public bareheaded. Right. You never know when you're going to talk to God. That's you right. never know when you have to talk to God. Right, so when you're out in public on your job or wherever, thank God you want to have your head covered so you always can show honor and respect to the man on earth and to angels in heaven. All right, next question. Uh, this person, this question, I beg your pardon, comes from Sasha. She says, can a person buy favor from God, for example, sowing of seeds? Listen. Preachers have told you for years mm -hmm. that God will favor you based upon what you give. Yeah. The Bible ain't never taught that you will get God's favor for money. No, never, never. Because if that's so, then Jesus' teaching would be wrong. Right, that's it. The poor you have with you, Always. how often? Always. How often? Always. Always. No, that's just a gimmick that the preachers have all around the world, sowing seed. Now, here, 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 this is what you, this, I, this is what you should do. I want everybody to hear me that are watching and obey what I tell you. If you have a department store in your area uh, that may have a section that sells flowers and seeds, the next time these hell-deserving evangelistic televised devils get on television or any form of social media telling you to sow seed in their ministry just go buy a pack of seeds it can be pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds and wrap them up and send them to one of satan's preachers <laughs> that's right and then let him plant it in his flower pot that's right huh? that's right no uh, god uh, god ain't gone uh your blessing is not determined that's right based upon amount. No, no. Not at all. Amen. God never done it that way. That's right. Jesus said, whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. Right. In fact, one scripture says, come without money. And without you better rest. read that quickly. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. Says what? And we're at the first verse. All right. Ho! Yeah. What? Ho! Ho! Everyone that thirsts. Everyone that, that wants thirsts. something to drink. Come ye to the waters. All right, I, 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 let me dive into that Go ahead. and break it to pieces. Go ahead. Come, everyone that thirsteth. That's thirsty. Come ye to the waters. Come to the water. And he that has. Come to God. That's it. That's what that means. Come That's it. Spirit. So I'm saying, well, it didn't say that. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Huh? But right. Jesus said, the, the water that I give you. That's it. 
It's life. It's life. Huh? That's then right. he said, this speak ye of the what? Spirit. Spirit. Right. Spirit. Amen. Right. So when the Bible says, everyone that's thirsty, thirsty, then Jesus said, he that hunger and thirst after righteousness right. shall be filled. So if you're thirsty, mm -hmm. you come on. Come you, you. you don't need money to no, get no. the Spirit of God. No, right. no. Not at all. No, no. If you're thirsty, come ye. You come on. Come ye. Uh -huh. And he that has no money. If you don't have no money, come ye. Come on. Come. Come. Come ye. Buy and eat. Come. Yes. Come. Hallelujah. Yes. Buy. Right. Buy and eat. And eat. I want to say, wait a minute, Pastor Jenny. If it wasn't talking about natural, buy me to exchange. That's right. That's right. What, yes. what is it that I got to exchange to eat? You got to exchange your soul. That's, That's right. right. Eh? That's right. And you got to give yourself. That's it. If you give yourself to God, and in return, God will give himself to you. That's yes. right. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Come yes. on. Come yes. on. Yes. You come on and buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine yes. and milk. Come by what? Wine and milk. Wine and milk. The Bible says there's newborn babies. Hallelujah. Desire to send sin. Milk wonderful. of the word. Mm -hmm. That you may grow thereby. That's right. And without money. You don't need no money. And without price. You don't need no money whatsoever Amen. to be born of God, Amen. to walk with God, to obey God, Amen. or to hear the word of God. Amen. Don't misunderstand me now. It takes money for things to function. Oh, yeah. But if you don't have money at all, right. you still can repent of your sins and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And by travel around the world, many times people call in and say, Pastor Jennings is actually coming here. How much do it cost? It never costs anything. anything. You never have to pay to come hear us. That's you right. never have to pay oh, to come see us. Amen. The only thing we ask you to give is your whole Whole life. Whole life. Yes. Give your yes. life to God. Amen. Thank God in the way you do that, you repent of your sins. All of them. All of your sins. Repent of them. Be sorry about your wickedness. And go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. All right, Dan the man. Come on, son. This person says, I have seen videos of explorers and documentaries claiming they have discovered the Ark of the Covenant. Uh -huh. Is this possible to find the Ark of the Covenant today? Well, there is no Bible that says it won't be found. And it is written where there is no law, there is no transgression. Amen. I believe it. Uh, I believe it lies. What was that on Mount Ararat? Ararat. Uh, so I, 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 they may find it. I don't know. Oh, no. uh, I, I'm not worried about it if they do. That's right. I don't need them to find it for me to know it's true. That's right. Because Amen. every word of God is right. That's Amen. it. And the Bible says, uh, "Whatsoever things are written aforetime is written for our." Learning. Uh, you got to know what the ark represents. Yes, Let's it be God. Wonderful, wonderful. The ark represents the church. That's right. And the water, bless God, that elevated the ark represent the spirit elevating the church off the earth. Go ahead, brother. Uh-huh. Go Glory ahead, to man. God. Man. Uh, Go ahead. That's what that represents. Amen. Wow. You, you better give me Jesus talking to the woman at the well. You better move fast. Yeah. I believe in the book of John. Book of John. The book of John now, mm -hmm. I want to show you how uh, how the spirit bears the title water. water. Amen. Amen. That's why like on the day of Pentecost, oh, no. spirit is called fire and spirit also is called water. Mm -hmm. On the day of Pentecost, they was filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, when something is filled, that's the attribute of water. water. But John said, one come after me that's mightier than I. He going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. You know, fire spread and consume. That's right. So the Holy Ghost come along and elevate you, and it also come along and consume every unrighteous and ungodly thing in you that's not like God. That's right. All right, son, come on. St. John chapter 4, and we're at the 10th verse. Real quick. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God. You better go up to uh, verse 7. Verse 7, read verse fast. Seven, there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Yeah. Jesus said, I want you to know the topic. Right. To draw water. To draw water. Uh -huh. Jesus said, Unto her. And what's the question? What was that question again? Oh, sorry, but I moved. Yeah, don't move so quick. <laughs> Come on, son. Can't find it. I have seen videos of explorers and documents claiming they have found the Ark of the Covenant. Is it possible to find the Ark today? The Ark of the Covenant or Noah's Ark? The Ark, just to find the Ark. The Ark. The Ark. Which Ark? Ark of the Covenant or Noah's Ark? Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Not Noah's Ark. Not Noah's well, I'm going to finish up Noah's Ark anyway, and then I get the Ark of the Covenant and break that down also. 
Real quick. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. All right. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy uh -huh. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me? Yeah. Which am a woman of Samaria. Yeah. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God. If, wait a minute. Notice the statement. Mm -hmm. If you know God's gift. And who it is that said to you. If you knew you, who I was that was talking to you. Give me to drink. What? Thou wouldst have asked of him. You would ask me to give it to you. And he would have given thee living water. Living water. The woman said unto, her, unto him. Sir, yeah, you don't have nothing to draw with. Not, not the Bible said he was talking about the spirit. That's right. He was talking about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Now, living water is the spirit. Living water is the Holy Ghost. Right. Now, in reference to the Ark of the Covenant. Ark mean container, yep. covenant is a pact or an agreement right, or right. a contract. Right. Now, in the Old Testament, they had the Ark of the Covenant. Bless God within the Ark. It was the statutes of God, the laws of God that he implemented to govern Israel. Wonderful. Now, here comes the Son of God, which was an Ark, a body, yep. a shape, yep. a form, yes, a container. Right. And there was a covenant in that. And the covenant was made to the world. Mm -hmm. What did he promise the world? Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thine will, O God. So he promised to all people that will believe on him. He said, the promise is unto you and to your children and to them that is afar off, even as many as our Lord, our God shall call. So the Ark of the Covenant in the Old Testament represent the coming of the Son of God, Jesus, in the New Testament. That's because right. within Jesus was law and promise. And within the Ark of the Covenant in the right. Old Testament was law and promise. Right. All right, next question. This comes to Lourdes. I have had dreams that have come to pass. This person uh -huh. says, are all dreams from God? If not, how can I discern when a dream is not from God and just a case of indigestion? I ask because I have a lot of very vivid dreams about spiritual things that are very clear and which have come to pass later. No, all dreams is not of God. Mm -hmm. There is some dreams that are. Give me the book of Numbers. Mm -hmm. Let me better move fast because I don't want to drag around with this. We're in a dream state now. Amen. Yes, there's some dreams that are of God. In fact, God spoke, I believe, to Moses and Aaron and Miriam and talked about how God will deal with man through dreams. In the book of Numbers, chapter 12. And uh, then you better get Joel 2:28. And that established, yes, how God will work. And then after that, I want to go dream crushing. Mm. Yeah. All right. In the book of Numbers, chapter 12. Come on. And we'll start at verse 6. Yes. Or we'll start at verse 5. All right. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Mary. Uh -huh. And they both came forth. And? And he said, hear now my words. You know, Aaron and Mary rose up against the prophet, right. Moses. Amen. One was his blood brother and the other was his sister. Right. And I felt as though that they can just say things that shouldn't be said. That's right. But God heard it. That's right. And uh, it didn't set well with God at all. No. God told them, come out ye three to the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And now God began to lay them out and lay law to them. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. And he said, hear now my words. I want you to hear my words. If there be a prophet among you. Listen at this. If God it, says, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord, I the Lord will make myself known I unto will him. make myself known to him in a vision. I will come to him in a vision and, and will speak unto him. Then I speak to him in a dream. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, some dreams, some dreams are of God. That's right. The Bible says in Joel 2.28, that it shall come to pass, your sons and daughters shall prophesy, prophesy. old men shall do what? Dream, dream. Let's read the whole thing. Joel chapter 2, and we're at verse 28. All right. And it shall come to pass afterward. Afterward. That I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Notice. It says afterward. It's going to come to pass afterward. Afterward. That means something going to happen after something else happened. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass afterward. That I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And what is it? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men, old men shall dream dreams. And your young men, young men shall see visions. Shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out of my spirit. All right, there's some. So that let you know, yes, there's some dreams that 
is of God and God make himself known and God may show things. Right. Now, dreams also come because you're mentally and emotionally busy. That's right. You come through a multitude of business. That's right. That can cause you to dream because you got a lot on your mind. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this. I believe in the book of Ecclesiastes. Yes. You better move fast, son, and stay ahead of me now. Amen. All right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5. All right. And we'll start reading at verse 6. Follow me. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh. All right, verse 3. Mm -hmm. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business. Now, sometimes people have a lot on their mind. That's right. A whole lot. And as a result of a lot on their mind, they start dreaming stuff. That's right. right. Dreaming stuff. Somebody who got the itch of wanting to preach so bad. He started dreaming he's in the pulpit, or he right. started dreaming he's standing on a mountain, or he started dreaming he's up somewhere in the bell tower, uh, <laughs> amen, ringing something. That's amen. right. Somebody who wants to be rich, he may dream he's waddling around in a bunch of money. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> and right. a bunch of money. When I was a child, I always wanted to fly. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of children that can identify with that. I always wanted to fly. And looking at superheroes on television didn't help me now. Hey, <laughs> yeah. man, when I was a kid, looking at them fellas, them cartoons, they ain't help me now. Thank God, hey, man. Uh, when I was a child and I see Superman, my next move was go get me a long towel. <laughs> get a long towel. And my mother would get a, them big safety pins, you know. That back then they had diapers, you know. They had these old pampers now. She'd get them big safety pins that's blue on the end or yellow on the end and put that thing in there. And that, I wanted my towel to hang. <laughs> Amen. And when it hung at a reasonable length, I'd take off running down the street to make a breeze. That's, and start moving then. And then by the time I go to bed, in uh, my dream, I was flying. <laughs> I was flying, flying. That was a lie. I dreamed a lie. A lie. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. I dreamed a lie. But yet, I had a lot on my mind. That's right. Now, the danger in that today, do you know there's a lot of nuts in the pulpit because they dreamed they was preaching? That's right. And because of a dream and not being able to differentiate God dealing and God making burst upon, based upon uh, what they personally feel like doing. I have heard what the prophet said. Listen, marriages that broke up through dreams. That's right. Because the husband believed what he dreamt or the wife believed what she dreamt. Right. Marriages have took place because of a dream. Some Amen. old fool man came to a woman in the church that he don't even know mm -hmm. and said, Sister, uh, Sister Beulah, the Lord showed me to you, uh, showed you to me and told me I was your husband. Well, Beulah got overwhelmed. Amen. Beulah. I am against them. Beulah got overwhelmed. That's it. Thank God I fell into a trap and married a man that's already married. That's right. My Lord. Eh? My Lord. Not only that, these devils sent agents that's called preachers. Yeah. Is in the pulpits of the world and tell you the Lord came to them in a dream and told them that the world going in. The world, according to these men, supposed to have in 2012. That's right. Supposed to have in 2014. Oh, yeah. Supposed to have ended sometime in, in the 1930s. Yeah. Every decade, a nut come along nut. and said the Lord gave them a dream, the world going in. Right. All right, listen at this. I wanted to show you this real good. Now, Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 26. All right. I have at verse 25. All right. I have heard what the prophet said. God said, I heard you. I heard what the prophet said. That prophesy lies in my name. That prophesy lies in my name. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have I told you this is written here. That's right. And uh, wait a minute. And what kind of prophets are they? Prophesy lies in my name. Wait a minute. They, they prophesy lies. How? In my name. They, they come in the name of Jesus Christ. That's, That's right. It. That's prophesying right. lies in my name women get up in the name of jesus christ god call and send me to preach the gospel that's right liar <laughs> that's right huh? that's right huh? i have heard two men you. two men two men come together yeah and said god hey, billy tell fred that uh, God gave Fred to Billy. My Lord. Liar! That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. 
Do you hear? Do you I, hear? I have heard what the prophet said. These old hell-bound preachers come along and say God came to them in a dream and tell them there's nothing wrong mm. with uh, uh, condoning yeah. homosexuality. You know, these men have no conscience. That's right. They're full of hell. That's right. And they're full of that devil out of hell. That's right. Do you hear the word of God? The Bible is talking. I and the heard. reason why these fellas would lean to a dream and ignore what the Bible says because they have no respect for the Bible. They have no regard for the Bible. They have no honor for the Bible. Wow. And they have no fear towards God himself. That's Amen. right. All right, son. I have heard what the prophet said. God said, I heard you. That prophesy lies in my name. In my name. Saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Don't you see the preachers come on television? Amen. And look, and they say, wait a minute, it came to me a dream, it came to me in a dream. Yeah. The Lord told me to tell you there's $10,000 in the house, you old $10,000 liar. That's right. You's a liar, the Lord ain't told you nothing. That's uh, right. That's just a thief. Amen. Uh -huh. I have heard what the prophet said. I heard what the prophet said. That prophesy lies that prophesy in my name. lies in the name of Jesus Christ. Saying, I have dreamed, I have, I have dreamed, dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be? How long is this going to go in, on? In the heart of the prophet. Where is it located? In the heart of the prophet. It's in the prophet's heart. Right then it let you know it's wicked. That's but right. the Bible said the heart is the most deceitful thing. That's and right. And desperately wicked. So yes. no, every dream don't come from God. No. You have to know the scriptures so you don't take a dream and tell a lie on God and say, the Lord said Amen. so. That's right. Eh? That's Amen. right. Amen. And when you know the scriptures and have it right, you won't error. No. Amen. You won't error in your vision and you won't stumble in your judgment. All right, let's get a few more questions and then we'll pick up Acts 2.38. All right. This question asks, is it possible to be saved if you die without having the Holy Ghost? Would God speak to your soul in the grave to save you or is it too late? No, God won't reach in the grave to save you. No. no. Amen. Salvation is given to the living. Amen. The Bible said the dead know of nothing. God tells the living to tarry until you be endued with power from on high. A dead person can't tarry. A dead person don't know anything. So don't wait till you die. I advise you right now. Repent. You better do it now. Amen. Uh, amen. Glory to God. Every country, everything under the sun right now. That's watching, you might as well come on and come out of the religion that you're in, come out of the church that you're in, leave your pastor, leave your uh, false church, take, take your position and flush it down the toilet That's right. and just come on and march to water. Amen. Repent, Amen. be baptized in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ and then tarry while you're living Amen. so the Lord will fill your wicked soul with the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right. Is it true that God is an apostle? Can the title of possibly placed on God? No. 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 Hallelujah to Amen. sweet Jesus. Amen. Amen. You better give me yeah, You better give me John 4:24, and Amen. then you better give me Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 1. Amen. First, let's establish the nature of God. John, John. And, uh, 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 just a minute. And then you better give me after that, give me Luke 9, uh, 749, if you will. Right. I got to show you who's sent and who's called and who's made. Yeah, uh -huh. right. John, St. John chapter 4 and verse 24. Follow me. God is a spirit. What? God is a spirit. God is is a spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship God must worship him. Must worship him in spirit. And spirit. And in truth. And in truth. truth. Now, the nature of God is spirit. Spirit. So it's incorrect to say God is an apostle. That's right. That's right. God promised he will send apostles. That's right. Luke 11, 49. Luke chapter 11 and at verse 49. Listen. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Now wait a minute. The same God, the Spirit, right. he's saying this. That's right. He's talking now. Mm -hmm. All right. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. And I will send them. Wait a minute. Wonderful. I will send them. Will send them. Prophets. Prophets and apostles and apostles and some of them they shall slay some of them they gonna kill and persecute and you're gonna persecute That's All right. right, you better give me uh, Hebrew 3 and 1 Hebrews chapter 3 and that verse 1 I want to show you this because that's a very good question mm -hmm. Pastor Jenner you preach Jesus Christ is God yes yeah. I preach Jesus Christ is God and I preach there is no other God but he That's thank right. God but God never was an apostle no. God never will be an apostle right. but yet Jesus was an apostle That's right. here, right. here 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 
Here now. Right. Thank right. God I want to give you something to reach after. <laughs> Glory to God. Hell, I said right. Jesus Christ is God. That's right. But God never, never Amen. was an apostle. Amen. And Jesus cannot be an apostle. Uh, uh, she cannot be an apostle. Right. Yeah, he was. That's it. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. One Wonderful. part of him couldn't. Wonderful. But another part That's was. Right. Amen. One part always exists, and the other part was sent. That's right. Uh -huh. mm. All right, let me show you this. Hebrews chapter 3 and at verse 1. Hebrews 3 and 1 says, Wherefore, holy brethren, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. What should we do? Consider the apostle. Consider who? The apostle. What? And high priest of our profession, uh -huh. Christ Jesus. Wait a minute. And then Luke eleven forty nine says what? I will send them prophets. Wait a minute. I will send. I will send them I prophets. I will them prophets. Prophets and apostles. I'm going to send them? I will send them. Luke eleven forty nine 49 says what? I will. Thus saith. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. I want you to know who's talking. Right. Wonderful. I want you to know who's talking. That's Amen. right. Who's talking? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. What do God wisdom say? I will send them. What? Prophets. And who? And apostles. Now Hebrew uh, 3 and 1 says. Wherefore holy brethren partakers of the heavenly calling consider the apostle and high priest of our profession Christ Jesus. The wisdom of God sent him. That's right. That's it. That's, God's That's right. That's God's wisdom. The wisdom of God sent, sent the son of God. Amen. That's right. And the son of God was an apostle. That's Amen. right. And God which was the spirit that was in that son Amen. was the preacher inside of the apostle. That's, right. That's why you hear the son of God saying, I do nothing of myself, of myself. but as my father dwelleth in me, do he do doeth the work. Right. In other words, God was the power of the apostle. That's, That's right. it. Wonderful. Yeah. That's, right. That's why the Bible said Christ was the wisdom of God power and of God. Christ was the power, power of God. That's right. So the spirit that was in that body, the spirit was the driving Force. That's it. But That's the it. body was an apostle. Amen. And not only that, here, here, the body of flesh and blood that Mary birthed, not only was it an apostle, it was a prophet. That's, That's right. Mm -hmm. For Moses said, God is going to raise up a prophet like me. Like me sir. Him Wonderful. shall you hear in all things. Amen. An apostle is God called, God sent. God made, yeah. God anointed, and God taught. That's God right. is not taught. No. Oh, no. God is not made. No. No. Uh -uh. Who can make God? No, wonderful, no. Wonderful. Nothing is revealed to God. No, no. Man. He know all things. That's right. Man. But that body that he made had the title apostle, had the title minister, had the title servant, Man. had the title my lord, had the title shepherd, had the title lamb. Right. Amen. An apostle is the one that's called and sent. God, the eternal spirit, wonderful. is not an apostle. That's That's right. He is the teacher Amen. in the apostle. That's, Amen. Right. That's what that is. Wonderful, sir. All right. Brother John says, I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. How do I fast? How do you fast? Mm -hmm. Very good question. You don't fast like the heathen, that's for sure. That's right. Sure, sir. You don't fast like the heathen or the hypocrite. Amen. Let's itemize how you fast. Mm -hmm. Now, for years, many so-called Pentecostal and apostolics have said, when you fast, it's from six to six. Mm, right. Mm. Have you heard that? That's Amen. It. Amen. They say when you fast, it's from six to six. And the scripture they use, when the Bible said, there's 12 hours in a day. That scripture ain't said nothing about no fasting. No. Did it? No. no. It ain't said nothing about fasting. Amen. 12 hours in a day. All right. It's 24 hours in a day. Amen. But you got 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Amen. But when it says 12 hours in a day, we're not talking about fasting. When you read the word of God when they fast, you don't see what it takes of 12 hours. No. Man, a whole day went by. Amen. They was fasting, didn't eat nothing, didn't drink nothing. That's right. Wasn't chewing no gum. Mm -hmm. Wasn't sucking on a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to show you how to fast, and I'm going to show you how not to fast. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 16. All right. Moreover, when ye fast. Moreover. 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 This is how you fast. When ye fast. When you fast. Be not as the hypocrites. First, the Bible tell you how not to be. That's, That's right. right. Don't be like hypocrites. Of a sad countenance. Walking around, want to show everybody. I'm, somebody say, what's the matter with you? Oh, I'm fasting. I'm, I'm going through. <laughs> That's right. You gonna fast three days and three nights? You ain't gotta make no announcement to everybody. No. 
I'm fasting three days and three nights. Well, you don't get up in the church and testify, saints, pray for me because I'm ready to go on a five-day and five-night fast. That's, yeah. that's between you and God. That's right. There ain't nobody business how long you going to go. That's, that's right. supposed to be between you and God. That's that's it. It. Yeah. Amen. That's it. All right, son. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites. Don't come as hypocrites. Of a sad countenance. Uh -huh. For they disfigure their faces. They disfigure their faces. That they may appear unto men too fast. That they may, they do this so they can appear unto men. They want to publicize what they're doing. That's, that's right. Like folks in jail go on hunger strikes and want to fast as if the government care. Amen. The government don't care if you die in prison. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. When you come out. Supposed to be fasting, but you publicizing it and you want everybody to know it, you ain't gonna get no blessing from it. No. That's what it's meant. You have your reward. Your reward. That means God That's ain't it. gonna step in and answer none of your prayer. That's right. He's not gonna give you nothing. That's right. Because you're faking. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But thou. Uh oh. But thou. Now, bless God, he gonna lay low. That's it. Mm -hmm. But thou, you. When thou fast. When you fast, you better do it a different way. Anoint oh, yeah. thine head. Wait a minute. Anoint your head. Now you just get some oils, a bottle of virgin oil. You can just go to the store and get it. And you ain't got to bring it to me to pray over it. No, that's that's right. You can pray over your food. You can pray over your oil. Amen. 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 I don't mean go get a can of Crisco lard, nothing like that. That's right. No, no. <laughs> Amen. Now when you anoint your head, the Bible says, <laughs> the Bible says it all, then you're done decently and in order. You, ain't don't have, you don't have to get oil until it's running down your face, until your face no. is shining like no. bacon grease. That's his bed. Not that. that. No. And you don't have to, listen, when you anoint your head, you anoint your head. Up there. This is your head. That's it. Not here. Forehead. Right. Head. Head. Not it. It didn't say put a cross here. No. No. Anoint your head. Anoint thine head. head. What did he say there? Anoint thine head. 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 Cover your head. Oh, no, that's right. Amen. Amen. When, you, when you anoint your head, I don't mean you got to have your forehead shining and <laughs> tell you to like, uh, look like your head been buffed with armor all. <laughs> Amen. There's a right way to do something. That's Amen. right. All right. But thou, when thou fastest, so God, when you fast, anoint thine head. You better anoint your head. And wash thy face. You wash after you anoint your head. That's right. Uh -huh. That thou appear not unto men too fast, uh -huh. but unto thy father which is in secret. Wait a minute. How? But unto thy father which is in secret. No, go around and publicize and let everybody know you on that fast. In okay. secret. Do it secret. Secret. Between you and God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And thy father which seeth in secret. What? And thy father which seeth in secret. God that see you. While you're in secret, communicate with him. That's right. Secret means one on one. That's right. Hey Amen. You done got away from everybody. Wonderful. You're Wonderful. in tune with him. That's it. Hey Amen. Your mind is just focused on him. Your heart, Hallelujah. blessed be the name of God, is just all focused on him. That's secret. Secret. You know, one scripture talk about your secret closet. Right. Yeah. Now, I, let, now, I don't want y'all to take that literally, literally now. <laughs> hey Amen. And you run inside your closet in your home. And when you fast and pray, you go in your closet and just duck from everybody. Amen. Amen. Father can't find you. Mother can't find you. Amen. And they, they, they got the police while looking for you. Mark yourself in. And you somewhere hiding in the closet behind your jacket, <laughs> ducking behind the trench coat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that. No, no. Because no. people are zealous, you know. That's right. Amen. So uh, it don't mean that. See, your, your, your closet means uh, your private place, private time. Private. private time. Just you and God. That's yeah. it. You, you're separated from everybody during this time, and you're offering up your body. You're offering up your mind. You're offering up your prayers. Oh, yeah. Glory to God as the smoke of incense that's burnt. Right. Thank Amen. God, and, and it smelled good in God's nostrils. Right. You go before God in prayer. Now, that had to balance out also when a woman prayed. 
If she's fasting, she got to be prayerful. So during that duration, she got to have her head covered also. Oh, no, you can't That's be right. fasting and praying bareheaded. bareheaded. Oh, no. Oh, and no. brother, That's while right. you fasting, you can't have your head covered. That's no, no. You can't have Amen. nothing on your head Amen. while you are fasting. Amen. And the woman, while she's fasting, she got to have her head covered. That's right. Because she got to go before God in prayer. Amen. And he got to go before God in prayer. That's right. All right, now, you better go. I believe to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah that tell 58. us further how not to fast. Well, Isaiah chapter 58 and we're at verse 3. I want to get all the ingredients, you know. Amen. Wherefore have we fasted, say they? Wherefore have you fasted, say they? And thou seest not. And you don't get no results. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? You afflict your soul. And thou takest no you know, knowledge. They, you know, wet fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People got wet fast. Wet. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. <laughs> People got wet fast, you know. They don't eat nothing, but they just keep drinking. Drink That's it. right. Keep drinking. That's no fast. No. no. Fast ain't nothing coming in your nothing. mouth, brother. Nothing. Mm -hmm. nothing to give you life. That's Amen. right. You know, because when you fast, you're suffering. That's you right. You chose the way of suffering. Amen. To offer up my body unto God and Amen. deprive myself from what I want. That's right. What my physical body want yeah. and what my physical body needs. That's it, man. If I'm fasting, I can't be tumbling like a weed with my wife. No, no. no. no wrestling. No wrestling. Eh? No, That's, no, a, that's no, a nice man. way of putting it, you know. <laughs> no, no husband and wife wrestling. Right. Yeah. Amen. And no, no, no. Why? You're giving your body to, to God, God and not to each other. That's right. Why? Man. Because you're fasting. Mm -hmm. And you sink it between you and God. Amen. All right. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? And you don't get no results. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Uh -huh. Behold, in the day of your fast, the day you fast, ye find pleasure. The day. day. That day. That day. In the day. That time that you're fasting, yeah. during the period of time that you're fasting, Amen. ye find pleasure. Here you out here finding pleasure. Finding pleasure. Amen. You ain't got to be as finding pleasure when you fasting. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Sacred place. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's supposed to be your, you, you want to establish a more solid relationship yes, between you and God. That's the time you want to get closer to him. That's right. No, I ain't doing no unnecessary phone talking. No. I sitting around watching television, wasting time. That's right. No, not doing that. No, Found no. Pleasure. Amen. Huh? Wonderful. Wonderful. Find and play. Window Found shopping. Pleasure. That's right. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Just sitting around lollygagging. No. Oh, no. Not that. Amen. Sitting there playing PSP. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. No. That's right. Playing checkers. No. Amen. Pleasure. Pleasure. Playing cards. No. Pleasure. No. Pleasure. No. Uh-uh. Amen. Amen. Wasting your time texting just to see how somebody is doing. Who cares? You should be worried about how you're doing at this time. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's Amen. right. In other words, you're making, every, you're making every hour count during the time of your fast. That's Amen. right. Huh? That's it. All right. Behold, in the day of your fast. In the day of your fast. Be fine pleasure, pleasure. And exact and all you exact your labor. all your labor. Mm -hmm. Behold, you fast for strife and debate. Wait a minute. You fasting? You ain't got no time to be arguing and arguing. fussing and Fighting and you supposed to be fasting? That's right. Huh? That's right. No, no. You gotta walk away from that argument. Amen. 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 Why? You afflict your soul. That's right. And you chose the way of suffering. That's, That's right. right. Can't be out there arguing and cussing and fighting and fighting. ready to give someone a piece of your mind. You only listen, you only you gonna give out so many pieces, you may only have a little bit pieces left. That's right. So you save them pieces while you fasted. Right. Amen. Right. And Behold, you fast for strife and debate. And what? And to smite with the fist of wickedness. You out there fist fight. Fist fight. Amen. That's right. Amen. You supposed to be fasting. You out there fist fighting with your neighbor. That's Amen. Wicked. That's wicked, you can't be doing that. No, no. Up in a brother's face in church or in a sister's <laughs> face in church, bumping each other, about to go at it, throwing your hands up, throwing Bibles around. That's no fast. Amen. That's hell deserving. That's Amen. right. You might as well go on and eat your chicken. That's, That's right. right. Huh? Amen. Amen. You might as well just go on and eat your chicken. That's right. All right, sir. You shall not fast as ye do this do, day. Do you hear what the Lord says? You shall not fast. Don't do it. As ye do this day. Don't do it. Some say, I'm going to do it. No, you're not. That's right. You right. shall Don't not do fast. it. God say, ye shall not fast. As right. ye do this now, day. Now, what is God teaching us? He's teaching us what he wants. That's it. And what he don't want. 
And if you want to get results out of your fast, do it his way. His way. All right. You All right. Not, Go ahead, quick. You shall not fast since you do this day uh, to, to make your voice to be heard on high. All right. All right, Dan. What else you got? Pedro asks. Who? Pedro. 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 All right. Do we have to yell for God to answer our prayers? <laughs> do we have to yell? You don't have to yell for God to answer your prayer. But God did say, cry out! Right. Whosoever. <laughs> call upon the name. Bible says, listen at this. In the book of Romans, chapter 10 and at verse 13. What? For whosoever, whosoever. shall call, call upon the name call of the Lord. Jesus! Call upon the name Amen. of the Lord. Call him. Hallelujah. Get down there. Call him. Call him. Call him. Hallelujah. Well, he hear all things, but he loved to be called. That's yeah. right. And man. if he want to, you, he, if he want to hear you call him, just start calling him. That's Amen. right. You know, because listen, when you in trouble oh, and yeah. really want some help, Amen. 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 You know, anyone that's really, when I was a child. You know, I hate dogs. I'm a dog hater. I'm, I'm not a dog whisperer. <laughs> I'm a dog hater. And I can see a dog three blocks away if possible. That's true. I start running in advance. That's right. <laughs> Am I right, William? That's right. Oh, yeah, Amen. That's and true. I started running in advance when I was a child, and I would holler. <laughs> I would holler for my mother. I would holler for my father. Amen. They didn't hear me. My father was at work. And my mother probably was at home. Mm -hmm. I would holler. Why? Mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. That's right. Now here the world is in sin. Mm -hmm. And if you're in sin, mm -hmm. who in the world would not cry out yeah. out of sheer desperation? Hallelujah. Because they don't want to go to hell. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hell. That's Amen. right. Go ahead, take God. You know, someone that's really in trouble, they ain't trying to be cute. No, oh, no. no. Oh, no. When you're when you in trouble, you ain't down there. Somebody help me. <laughs> no, sir. Will you help me, please? Oh, no. Oh, no. no. You, you ain't trying to be cute. Oh, no. Huh? Oh, no. Hey, man. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. No. For no. the same Lord. Listen. Listen at this. Now in Romans chapter 10 and at verse 12. Amen. Romans 10, 12. For the same Lord over all. The same Lord over all. Is rich. Is rich. Unto all that call unto upon him. Unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall whosoever. call. Now God wants you to call him. Yes, That's right. That's oh. what God wants. That's right. He says whosoever. Whosoever shall call. Shall call. Upon the name of the Lord. Upon the Lord. Yeah, glory to and God upon the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. That's what God ordered. Hallelujah. So I say, well, 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 what about a person who's deaf and mute? Can he call upon sure, God? Sure. Yes, he can. Oh, yeah. Yes, he can. He can call on God all down in his soul. Yeah. That's Amen. right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. All Amen. down in his heart. Amen. And let me show you the mighty hand of God. Yes, God can take the tongue of a mute man. And a deaf and mute woman. Loose. And when the spirit get in there, he can loose the muteness. That's right. You right. know, when oh, yeah. you got you got a remote control on your television, there's sound. Yeah. And when you mash mute, the sound goes. That's right. And but you got the power to take mute off. That's right. That's what God is. That's right. That's right. That's right. God got the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take the mute off oh, and yes, God and touch that mute tongue yes, yes, and right. there come through speaking, speaking in tongues, yes, right. making a whole lot of noise Amen. That's right. as the spirit give up. Amen. That's right. Thank Amen. God. Listen, if they didn't, if, if it was quiet on the day of Pentecost, how in the world can the people around there say, how hear we? That's right. How hear we? Amen. Every man speaking our language wherever we was born. And then the Bible said, when this was noise, 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 right. noise. noise the you better give me the second chapter Man. of the Acts of the Relax. Apostles, son. And you better move quickly. Acts chapter 2. Listen at this. And we'll start at verse 5. All right, and move he, quick. Man. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. They were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. Devout men out of, every, out nation men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noise abroad. Now when this was noise. Noise abroad. Spell that. N O I S E D. Noise! Noise! It was a lot of noise! Yes, sir. Noise, noise the broad. How far? Abroad. How far? Noise the broad. One scripture said the sound. 
That's has right. gone out to all the earth and there words to the That's end of the world. world. That's right. So when you tarry, there's some noise Lord. being made. Amen. Amen. When you cry out to God, Hallelujah. Lord, it take God, there's some noise oh, being man. made. Wonderful. You know, when you've oh, done yeah. this thing right, you ain't down there worrying about what clothes you got, uh, the name brand of your worthless clothing. Go ahead. You're not scared to get your stockings torn. That's right. The man is not yeah. scared to get a hole in his pants go leg. Why, thank God. God, Amen. because the Hallelujah. thing, let it be the Amen. name of God. Amen. The thing that I'm down there for Amen. is the Holy Ghost. That's Amen. it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Not worried about Amen. my jacket. And That's right. Not worried about my pants Hallelujah. and my necktie, That's how it, it. moved to the left Amen. or to the right. Not worried about this. God, amen, whether the toe of my shoes amen. will be scuffed. No, right. I want the Holy Ghost. 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 I want the Holy Ghost. Amen. I want God to fill me. That's right. Thank Wonderful. God. And if I want God to fill me, oh. I'm going to call oh, on him like I want it. That's right. Because I'm in trouble. Amen. That's right. Thank God. And the only Amen. one can get me out of the trouble oh, yeah. is God himself. In Amen. my distress. Yes. Wonderful. Lord, thank God. Wonderful. Listen to what the Bible says. Psalms 120 and at verse 1. Psalms what? Psalm 120. Psalms 120. And at verse 1. And verse 1. In yeah. my distress. In my distress. Trouble. I cry. Trouble. Wait a minute. In my distress, I got cute. In my distress, I cried. No, in my distress, I was proper. In my distress, I cried. In my distress, yeah. I was dainty. In my distress, I cried. <laughs> Go, hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. In yeah. my distress, I yeah. cried. Yeah. I yeah. cried. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. The whole world. Yeah. Hallelujah. You may as well. Let go and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 You might as well get ready to cry out. In my distress. Everything got to cry out. Everything got to cry out. Go ahead. You're going to have to cry out. What shall I do Go ahead. to be saved? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything, the pulpit Go got to cry out. Go ahead. 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 Everybody. They're gonna have to Hallelujah. do it. Hallelujah. Every country. Hallelujah. Every yes. nation. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. The governments of the world. Hallelujah. You got the crowd. I don't place. care if you Democrat yeah. or Republican, Go but you got the crowd. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Go. Hallelujah. Am I the stress? I cry. I, I cry unto the Lord. It's all right. I cry to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful. You might as well get ready Amen. to do it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You preachers, you preachers. I don't care of your nationality, of your color, Hallelujah. everything under the sun. Hallelujah. We got one God yes, that's it. that we got the cry out to. All right, that's enough of that. Let's Amen. get the book of Acts 38. Amen. I want to tell the world what everybody must do. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 What everybody Hallelujah. must do. Then Peter said that's, that's what got me crying out. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I want to remind everybody Hallelujah. what Wonderful. you must do. That's it. Man, get this. Yeah. What Jesus gave his apostles, it ain't just for one group. No. It's Wonderful. for everybody. everybody. That's why he told them, go with Hallelujah. Go, go into all the world yeah. and preach the gospel. To every Christian. every Christian. I want you to go everywhere. Everywhere. And the apostles was obedient to that. That's right. Thank God after they went to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and preached the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They went everywhere. Everywhere. Town to town. City to city. That's right. Country to country. That's right. Preaching one gospel. That's it. Huh? They didn't preach this stuff that's here now. No. And no. then all the apostles stuck. To the same, same thing. thing. So here we are now. Hallelujah. Glory to God at Jerusalem Hallelujah. where the Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Then after that, Peter stood up with the eleven. Mm -hmm. Amen. And told them, men and brethren, what shall thank we God do? he preached and reached back and got David. That's right. David said, Thou shalt not leave my, my soul, soul in hell. hell. That's right. Neither suffer the Holy One to see corruption. Mm -hmm. Thank God when they heard the words of Peter. 
Amen. They was pricked in their heart, the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, What shall we do? Men and brethren, what we gonna do? That's right. I want to say to everything that's watching. Hallelujah. What are you gonna do? What shall we do? Eh? You that's in America, in Canada, in South America, in Puerto Rico, throughout Jamaica, in Taiwan, in Korea, in Japan, in Cuba, and God who will take God in Israel, in Jerusalem, Hallelujah. in Saudi Arabia, Hallelujah. in the Dominican God. Republic. In what shall we, shall do? we do? What shall we do? Hallelujah. 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 Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. What, the, what must everybody do? Then Peter repent. Said to them, repent. Repent, repent, everybody. Everybody. Eh? Now you bear in mind what I'm preaching is for everybody. Everybody. I don't care of your skin tone, your skin color. It's for everybody. That's right. Eh? That's Amen. right. Amen. When, when, when the word of God, when the Arab man understanding come open. Yeah. Thank God you'll see him unwrap his turban. That's right. Yeah. Go down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Eh? Hallelujah. Then Peter. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Repent. 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 Hallelujah. Don't take off. Hallelujah. Repent. That's it. Thank Amen. God and be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus every Christ. One of you. Every one of you. Every one of you. Every one of you. Every one of you. Now, thank God every governor, every mayor, every king, every president from the past and the future. Every one of every you. Every queen. Every congressman. Hallelujah. Every model. That's it. Every rich man. Yeah. Every police officer, Hallelujah. every politician, Hallelujah. every poor man, every one of it you. It doesn't matter who you are. That's right. Lord our God said of one thing. Mm -hmm. You preachers, mm -hmm. many of you preachers are watching. Yeah. You're not baptized. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You old crook. Amen. You come along and bow your head and raise your hands and all of that foolishness and went and prayed some sinner's prayer and join some church and got in some fake religion that the word of God don't say nothing about. That's right. Yeah, here's what you got to have. Repent. <laughs> Repent. Oh, how sweet it is. Amen. Do you hear what he said? Repent. Who? E Repent and be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Wait a minute, that got all Russia? Every one of you. Israel, hey, e Abraham, see, that got you. Every one of you. That got you. Amen. Amen. That got you. Every one of you. Every black man, every white man, every brown man on the earth. That's it. God says every one of you. Every one of you. What must be done? Repent and be baptized every one of you. He ain't never tell you join the church. No. He ain't never tell you bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal savior. That's right. He ain't never tell you like these false prophets tell you touch the television. Mm -hmm. And God coming in your heart. God ain't coming in your heart because your hand is on a flat screen. No, Only thing no. you're going to get is a warm hand. That's it. Huh? Repent. Repent. And be baptized. You know, when you repent, you're sorry about your wrong. That's right. Sorry about that smoking. Sorry about that partying. That's what make a man and a woman change. Yeah. They start getting tired of the life that they live in. It start getting boring to them and yeah. uninteresting to them and all the fun start to leave. That's it. Thank God. And sometimes they don't know what's wrong with themselves. That's right. And man, they wonder why is it now? I, I, I can't enjoy that party like I used to. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. They don't know what's going on. They, they can't enjoy the music. Amen. They at the club and not at the club when they in the club. That's right. Amen. Why? God Almighty started dealing with him. Yeah. And starting to deal with her. Amen. Amen. And, and they start to get an appetite right. for God. That's right. Then the thing that they used to love, they start hating it hating now. It. Don't want the smoke no more. Don't want the drink. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't want the gamble. Don't want the party. Amen. Don't want to go outside half naked no more. Hallelujah. Woman to find herself don't want to wear pants no more. Hallelujah. That man to find himself don't want to wear dresses no more. That's right. Ah! Hallelujah. Repent. Repent. Look. Go and take off. Amen. Here comes Jesus coming on back from the dead the third day Hallelujah. and said that repentance and remission of and sins and remission of sins should be preached in His name. Among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. And we're going to begin at Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. And he told his apostles, you are my witnesses. 
of these things. That's it. Glory to God and behold. Oh, hallelujah. I send the promise of my father on you. But you wait. You go tarry. tarry. To the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. Yeah. And when they went to Jerusalem, the Holy Ghost came down from God out of heaven. And God got the church started. That's it. Now, the church of our Lord Jesus Christ started on the day of Pentecost. And the reason why we say of our Lord Jesus Christ, because Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my church. And he didn't add apostolic faith to it. No, he didn't. He didn't do that. No. Because he's the first. That's it. He's the last. He's the last. He's the beginning. Right. He's the ending. He's the ending. Amen. He didn't say I'm going to start my Pentecostal church. He didn't do that. No, no, no. He didn't say I'm going to start a Baptist church. No. Or a church of non-denomination. No, no. Or a Lutheran church. No. Or Christian scientists. Amen. Or Scientology. That's right. He didn't say he's going to start that. I will. No. He said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. And then he said, the gates of hell can't beat it. Right. That's what it meant. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell cannot beat God's church. That's it. It can fight it by God's permission, but it can't beat right. God's church. That's right. Hell can fight it, but you can never beat it. Huh? That's it. All right, what did the word of God say there? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, what, what, what is your preacher telling you? What is your preacher telling you how to be born again? Yeah. Did you bow your head and raise your hand, viewer? You that are watching live all around the world, and you that are listening to this later on, did you bow your head and raise your hand? Did you? You did? Washington? Washington? Washington. You bow your head and raise your hand. New York? Boston? Connecticut? Arizona? Utah? California? Nevada? Texas? Boston? Maine? Philadelphia? New Jersey? Florida? Canada? South America? Get this now. Did you bow your head and raise your hand? Did you look at some fool on television? Who told you, if you that are looking at me now, if you want Christ to come in your heart, just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Wash me. Cleanse me. White as snow. Did you do that? And did the preacher told you, you say he did? Liar. 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 You're not saved. You're not saved. That's right. Who? Who, Pastor Jennings? Anybody that looked at some quack on television or on internet and you repeated some sinner's prayer and then you thought you were saved afterward, you ain't never been saved. No. Never. never. Until you do it just like Jesus told Nicodemus to do it. That's right. Glory oh, to God, here's Jesus who was God manifested in the flesh. God was in that flesh, thank God, and then begin to break the thing down to Nicodemus. And Nicodemus was a smart fella. Yes, he, was. he was a ruler of the Jews. That's right. Listen at this in John chapter 3, begin at verse 1. St. John chapter 3, begin at verse 1. All right. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. That's like your pastor. He ruled a whole lot of folk. Mm -hmm. Thousands of Southern Baptists and Northern Baptists and so-called apostolic and Pentecostal and non-denominational and Lutheran. Where in the world all this religion come from? from. Where did y'all come from? Amen. Brother, the devil's producing religion like somebody on an assembly line. That's right. Eh? That's right. Religion after religion. Thank God, but you just can't find it nowhere in God's everlasting word. Amen. All right. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, uh -huh. a ruler of the Jews. A ruler of the Jews. The same came same to Jesus, came to by Jesus night. at night. And said unto him, Rabbi, teacher, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Uh -huh. But no man can do these miracles that thou doest. It ain't nobody can do what you do except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, What? Verily, verily, I say truly, unto thee. Truly, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born again. Except, yeah, all right, viewer, viewer, are you watching and listening to this? Because I know there's millions of you watching around the world. You believe you're saved. You really believe you're saved. And I want to show you that most of you ain't never been saved. Right. And I'm going to do it with the Bible. Never mind my opinion. Mm -hmm. My opinion don't mean nothing. I'm going to strike this out with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Listen. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. What? Except a man be born again. Except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. I had a man write me a letter just like Nicodemus. <laughs> he wrote and told me that mean when you're born again. It's talking about your first birth. Mm. 
Bible says again. Born again. Again. Born a again. Ain't talking about your first birth. No, that which is born of the flesh. Now, now, now listen, Nicodemus thought the same thing. Same thing. He thought, he, thought he, he, he couldn't get what Jesus was grasping and Jesus had to break it down. Listen at the whole thing. Nick, Jesus answered and said unto him, what is it? Verily, verily, I said unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yes. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? All right, preachers, that's you. He said, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he? Can he enter the second enter time? Enter the second time? Into his mother's womb? And what? And be born? Yeah, and think of it. Here's this ruler. Ruler. This ruler. Think of it. Ruler. Ruler. Of Jews. That's right. Actually thought as an old man, mm. Jesus telling him to be born again, Nicodemus thought he had to clam right back in his mother's mm. womb. These women had died. That's right. Yeah, my mother had eight children. Can you imagine? For us to be born again, all of us had to clam back into her. She's 85 years old. My Lord. All of us got to, uh, start, starting from my oldest brother, Tony. He make his trip. And, and man, then Deke make his trip. And then Ann make hers. And Rick make his. And Cookie make hers. And Pixie make hers. And I make mine. And then Rock make his. And Rock is taller than all of us. Man. I imagine all of us just trying to get back in. That's a fool. That's a fool. All right, son. Nicodemus says unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Jesus wasn't talking about going back to the mother's womb. No. And Nicodemus asks, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time? Into his mother's into womb Into his mother's born? body and be born and come back out? Go in and come back out. That's right. Uh -huh. Jesus answered, verily, verily. You know, I, I really wish I would have was able to see Jesus' face expression. <laughs> I really wish I could, well, I, I could have seen the face expression of Jesus. Lord. To see Nicodemus actually thinking that the Messiah is telling him, go back go in back. your mama's body. Yeah. Go back in. And be born. And come back out. Then you got a second birth. Right. All right. Jesus answered, verily, verily. You know, this I is say, written to show us how ignorant men are. Yeah. Uh -huh. Verily, verily, I say unto truly, thee. Truly, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born of water. Be born of water. And of the spirit. What happened? He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And? Uh -huh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. You see, he ain't talking about no natural birth. All of us that are here now was born of the flesh. Right. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, but and and that which, and is, born that of the which spirit is born of the spirit is spirit. Oh, he's talking about something spiritual here, Marvin. Not what I say unto you. He must be born again. All right, Matthew twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. Let's get the Great Commission mm -hmm. because I'm talking to the world who didn't obey this Great Commission. That's right. Matthew. And that got ninety nine point nine of every religion under the sun that do baptize it. Yeah. All right. Matthew 28 and at verse 19. All right. Here's your favorite scripture, reverend. <laughs> That's right. Go ye therefore. Hey, so-called reverend. <laughs> Mr. Reverend. That's it. Hey, so-called Mr. Reverend. Hey, acting deacon. Yeah. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I'm, Here about it is. To, I'm about to read your scripture. That's it. Are you ready for it? <laughs> That's right. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Christian. Born, born again. Born again. Here's your scripture. Amen. I'm about to read it for you. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Call chapter and verse. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Matthew 28, 19. I want, listen, I want all the Catholics to hear it. <laughs> I want all the members of the Church of God in Christ to hear it. Amen. I want all the members of the uh, Church of the Living God to hear it. I want all the members of the so-called Church of Christ to hear it. Mm -hmm. I want all the members of the Church of God in prophecy. The false church my mama came out of. <laughs> Amen. My mama came out of the church of God in prophecy back in the 1940s. Mm. When she heard about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ over the radio. That was long before I was born. Mm. Back in the 1940s, she heard Bishop Johnson preach the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. My grandmother had it. In mm. fact, I believe my grandmother, I was told, was the first one to have it in the city of Raleigh. Mm -hmm. She heard it over the air, thank God, in the 1930s and 40s by Bishop Johnson. Mm -hmm. So she got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and my grandmother was getting other people, sneaking them out of the Church of God in prophecy, <laughs> sneaking them out Lord. to take them to Durham 
uh, or to a nearby church that Johnson had so they can go down in water. Thank God, but when the young people, and my mother was young at the time, when they wanted to be baptized, the Church of God and Prophecy brought all them before the board of directors and told the young people during that time, if you be baptized, we'll throw you out of the Church of God and Prophecy. That was good. Amen. That was a blessing. It's a blessing to get thrown out of falsehood. That's right. That's a blessing. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. So she went on and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, here, human family, human family, I want to go into this scripture of Matthew 20, 19, because practically all of you that are watching and listening have been baptized wrong. Wrong. Listen, if you're Baptist or Methodist or Presbyterian or Lutheran or non-denominational or Pentecostal or anything other than holy, I know if you were baptized, <laughs> you were baptized wrong. Amen. All right. Matthew 28 and verse 19. All right, dear God, I got a belly full of gospel to give you, and Amen. I want to give you as much as I can. Amen. All right, son. Go ye therefore. Jesus talked. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore. And teach all nations. That's what we're doing this morning, this afternoon, and tonight. Oh, yeah. Teach how much? All nations. How much? All nations. How much? All nations. Russia, are you listening? That's it. South America, Canada, America, are you mm -hmm. listening? Amen. Are you listening? Teach all nations. Oh, Alaska, are you listening? Mm -hmm. Peru, are you listening? Yeah. Caribbean, are you listening? Amen. Saudi Arabia, the world, mm -hmm. are you listening? Amen. If the Bible says all nations, that got every alley, every neighborhood, mm -hmm. every city, every state, every island, every country on the planet on the Earth. Planet. Everything. Teach all nations. If you're an Eskimo in your igloo, Amen. It got you too. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean, the Eskimo got to get ready to break ice and don't just catch fish. You better get ready to go down in water. <laughs> yeah. Amen. They got to have a cold baptism. That's right. Yeah. Teach all nations. Teach all nations. Baptizing them. Listen at this. Baptizing them how? In the name of the Father and Father, of the Son. Listen, the name of the Father mm -hmm. and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now, this is where you preachers have made a universal mess. Mm -hmm. And you made this mess before I was born. Oh, yeah. You went on and baptized and all you did was repeated Jesus. Right. Jesus didn't say repeat him. No. He told you to do something. That's right. He said do something. Baptizing them. Baptizing them how? In the name of the Father. Baptize them how? In the name. And the what? In the name. Just a minute. Just a minute. Amen. You're told to write a check. And that man said, I want you to do it in my name. Mm -hmm. Write the check in my name. In the name. I don't care what kind of occupation, how many, how much skill that man has, how much right. talent he has. The moment that man said, write that check in my name. In the name. You can't put Mr. Plumber because he's a plumber. That's right. If his name ain't Plumber, you can't put Plumber. Amen. I want my name. That's it. If my name is Williams Arthur, hmm. then the check better be in the name of William Arthur. That's right. That's Not right. Plumber. Amen. I may be a laptop technician, computer analyst. Mm -hmm. Can't. Mr. Computer Analyst. Uh, that's not my name. Amen. If someone give me a check, they can't put on there. Preacher. No. <laughs> Which one? Mm -hmm. God wants his name. Name. Baptized in the name mm -hmm. of what? Of the Father. Hold it. Let us get his first title. Father. Father. Mm -hmm. Father means originator. And the creator of the universe. Right. But the Father, which is God, mm -hmm. has a name. That's right. Because the Father, which is God, mm -hmm. is the Lord. That's right. Of the world. Of the world. Thank God, and here's the Lord stop a man 
by the name of Saul mm -hmm. on the road to Damascus. And a light shone from heaven above the brightness of the sun. And Saul asked him, Who art thou? And the Lord, which is God, said, I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. Do it in the name of, of the, Father. the Father. The Father. Now the nature of the Father is spirit. Right. Divine, eternal, perpetual. And in order for us to be redeemed, saved, holy, sanctified, godly, a sacrifice had to be offered that would take the place of Old Testament sacrifices. That's right. All the sacrifices offered in the days of old, they were defiled, they couldn't correct us, they couldn't purify us, and they couldn't save us. Yeah. Thank God. So God made a body. Yeah, yeah. God made a body, and the body was called Son. Son. The Son of God was God's body. That's right. God's body was God's minister, mm -hmm. and God was in that minister. Mm -hmm. The minister of God was the form of God. And when God made a form, he took that form on, and that form was a veil right. that God worked in. Mm -hmm. And so God wanted everybody to know who was in it, the body inherited God's name. God's name. That's why they said, I come mm -hmm. in my father's name. That's right. Eh? That's right. And the name of the father is Jesus. Jesus. And that body which had the title son is the name Jesus. That's right. While he was here, mm -hmm. who? God. God. Where was he? In man. Right. What was the man he was in? Son. Son. Why God was in that house. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, teaching from the house and teaching in the house. Glory to God, amen. He needed to send the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. which is the characteristics or the function of God. And he said, I send it in my, my, name. Name. In my name. The name, the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus. Jesus. And he's the Christ. Who you're looking at now is a preacher. Mm -hmm. But this preacher got a name. That's right. I'm a father. Mm -hmm. I'm a son. I'm a husband. Mm -hmm. I'm a preacher. Yeah. I'm a servant. Mm -hmm. I'm a minister. I'm an instrument. I'm an elder. Yeah. I'm a bishop. I'm a brother. I'm an enemy to a whole lot of folk. That's right. But I have a name. A name. Is that right? That's right. Do you hear this? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Matthew 28, 19, he was instructing his disciples, I want you to do something. That's right. You got to do something. Baptizing them in the name well, of the Father. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, I want you to baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. You dumb preachers, all you do is get somebody, stand them in water, and say, I baptize you, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus ain't say do that. No, no. He didn't say do that. Baptizing them in the name. I want you to do it in the name. Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He didn't say do it, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said do it in the name of it. That's now, it. Matthew 20, 19, they was told to go do it. Go do it. Now, let's see where it was fulfilled. And then we're going to travel. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for a short journey. Amen. In the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Where all the apostles baptized. Right. And we're going to see that the apostles baptized anybody mm -hmm. and said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. All right. Acts chapter 2, we're at verse 38. All right. Acts this, 2, 38. Listen at this. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. The, the apostles didn't tell you, join the church, bow your head, raise your hand, accept Christ as your personal Savior, pray a sinner's prayer, and all that bundle of recycled trash that come out of hell. That's right. They didn't do that. No, no. What if God says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Get sorry about your wrong, hypocrite. Mm -hmm. God wants you to sorry. Be sorry about it. That's right. You're sorry about your wrong. You'll give up that second husband. You'll give up that second wife. You'll stop living together, not marry. You'll stop being a homosexual. You'll stop <laughs> all of that. 
You're gonna take off your pink shoes, brother. That's right. Uh -huh. Yes, you will. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. You're gonna take off your pink shoes and get rid of your orange socks. And you gonna do that? Yes, you will. Amen. That woman to take off a wig and take off them corpse eyelashes. Hmm. Take off them earrings, you'll get your nose from being pierced. Why? You repent for repent. all that worldly foolishness. That's right. You'll stop getting tattoos like you's a public hoe. Mm -hmm. You'll stop that. You'll stop showing your cleavage and mm -hmm. stop wearing a split in your skirt advertising what God gave you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You'll stop that. You'll stop laying around with every two legged dog. That's right. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. That's right. You'll stop your smoking, your drinking, your gambling, your lying, your swearing. You'll stop buying your fake hair, brother. You'll stop wearing your toupees. Yeah. Yes, you will. <laughs> That's right. Ah! Repent. 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 One old Baptist hypocrite got over the television and said, you preachers need to tell people, stop that you going to hell for smoking. My Lord. He want to take cigarettes into the kingdom. <laughs> Amen. Ah, you're going to go to hell. The Bible says, cleanse yourself Jesus. from all filthiness of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Didn't they say so? That's right. So you folk want to claim you're Christians with no change. Mm -hmm. You want to be Christians, homosexuals, and Christian cigarette suckers, and Christians joint suckers, and crack takers. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. That's what you want. That's right. You want to be a Christian woman with hot pants on and a halter showing your half-naked body Hallelujah. looking like your regular neighborhood prostitute. Go ahead. That's what you want. That's right. You don't want to repent for nothing. That's it. You know, when you're sorry about a thing, brother, you're going to start making some changes. That's right. Huh? That's right. Read. Repent. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. And what? And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much of you? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. And what do Matthew 28, 19 say? Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And what do Acts 38 say? Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear us. Hard head internet watchers, stubborn radio listeners, Amen. and evil television viewers. <laughs> Amen. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus, and He is the Christ. That's it. Matthew 20 19 mm -hmm. was fulfilled, mm -hmm. or it was done. done. And Acts 2 38. That's right. One scripture says, Go do it. The other scripture, it was done. It was done. All right, let's travel in the book of Acts. Now in Acts chapter 8. I want to show the world that every place, glory to God, where the apostles baptized, they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, or they said, Lord Jesus. That's right. That's Jesus it. Christ or Lord Jesus. That's it. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's right. Hear this, hardhead. Hear this. Acts chapter 8, we'll start at verse 14. All right. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, uh -huh. they sent unto them Peter and John, who when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. For as yet. For, listen. For what? For as yet. For as yet. He was fallen upon none of them. The Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only... Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, in Samaria they were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, they bowed their head and raised their hands and accept Christ as their personal Savior. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, they were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Church and God in Christ. Church of God in Christ. Amen. I had a Church of God in Christ preacher came to New Brunswick last week to meet me. Mm. Amen. Talk to me about the Godhead mm. and the baptism. He's, he's considering it. Thank God because everybody in the Church Amen. of God in Christ was baptized wrong. Mm. Everybody from Bishop Mason on up Amen. was baptized wrong. Amen. All of you were baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. My Lord. All of you are still in your sins. That's right. I didn't stutter. No. All of the church of God in Christ, church of the living God, 
church of God, everybody, everybody that was baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost over you, you're still in your sins. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Huh? That's right. Glory to God, I said everybody. Everybody. What did he say? For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. For as yet he, he, he who, God, God. was falling upon none of them. Only they were baptized. They only had the baptism. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's keep traveling. Acts chapter 10. I'm going this way to show everybody. Mm -hmm. That was baptized using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. That nobody, yeah, yeah, get this. Nobody, nobody. in the history of the Bible <laughs> was baptized saying Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Well, you're wrong there, Pastor Dennis. Jesus baptized that way. He did not. Mm -mm. He said to baptize in the name. He told his apostles, this is the way you got to do it. Right. I want you to do it in, in the, the name, name of it. Listen, that's what I'm about to tell you. I want you to get this real good. Jesus told his apostles to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. He never told them to say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, he didn't. That's right. That's right. He said do it in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. No, he didn't. He didn't say do that. No. You hard head preachers, you see that? You're hard here. You're Amen. stubborn and you're stiff necked just like your father, the devil. That's right. You going around saying, Father, Son, and Holy Same. Ghost. You're disobedient. Mm -hmm. Your hard head church of God and Christ bishop. Your hard head church of God elder. Yeah. Your hard head Pentecostal missionary. Amen. He didn't say it. Go around and say, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, no. He said, if you do it, when you're baptized, baptize in, in the name. The name. The name. That's it. The name. The name. You know, when you got an alarm clock, it said the same thing. The name. That's right. The name. The name. That's it. The name. That's right. The name. Amen. I want the alarm to reach you, you know. That's right. I want to alarm you. Hallelujah. Baptize in the name. In the name. Of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You hard head church organizations mm -hmm. that are scripturally illiterate, illiterate, you tell me, what is the name mm -hmm. of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? What is it? What is it? Tell me, write me back. Email me. What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. If you're watching now, send your question in about the baptism. Check, check your uh, laptop. See if a question come in. I, I, want, I want a preacher from anywhere in the world. Have a seat, son. Don't stand there. Sit down and look at it. I want any preacher, any preacher, any, any church goer from anywhere in the world. Show me the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you better not tell me it's Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Go ahead. You better not tell me that. Go ahead, brother. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost mm. is not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, no. It's not. It's not. Everybody that been baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost ain't never obeyed Jesus. That's right. You ain't never done what he said. That's Your right. Your bishop haven't done it. Your apostle haven't done it. Mm -hmm. Your prophet haven't done it. The pastor didn't do it. The elder didn't do it. The jack leg deacon and the hell bound first lady and the organ player and the drummer and Preach the guitar it, player and the trumpet player and the saxophone player and the harmonica player and the tub beater and ah. the scrub board scraper. Go ahead. <laughs> hey. Go ahead. What did the Holy Ghost say? Go ye therefore and teach all. Go ye therefore and take on. I'm teaching all. Are we, teach, are we obeying that? Teach, teach all. Are we nations. obeying that? That's it. Teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the did, Father, hey, Son, hey, and Holy Ghost. Hey, hard Did you get the name? Jehovah Witness? Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness. Did you get the name? Mm -hmm. Did you get the name? Baptist. Hey, Methodist. Catholic. Catholic, did you get the name? The name. The name. What's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Brother Dan, we're, we're live right now, and he's sitting with his laptop waiting for an answer. Amen. Go get your bishop. You can't find him? Call his second wife. 
or call the boyfriend Go ahead. of your bishop. I want to know what's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Daniel's sitting at the laptop waiting like a, like a chicken sitting on eggs. Amen. He's waiting. I want you to hatch out a scripture. That's eh? right. That's right. And tell me, I dare you to tell me the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Eh? Amen. All right, read quick, son. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Yeah. Baptizing them in the, the name, name of the Father, of the Father, Father and, the Holy Ghost. and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Now I want to show you all down where the apostles stop how they baptize. All now, right? Now we're in Acts chapter 10. And we're at verse 44. Listen. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter yet spake the word. The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Yes. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know they had it? For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. What else? Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? Can any man forbid water? Can any man Keep from being baptized. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And, and well, wait a minute. What, what class do baptism come under? Can any man What class do baptism come under? Should, and mean? he commanded them. And he commanded them. He commanded them. Right. He commanded them. He commanded them to be baptized. Wait a minute. What class does it come under? Command. No, he requests. He commanded them. He gave them his idea. He commanded them. He gave him his opinion. He commanded them. Hey, preacher, I dare anything watching or listening tell me the apostles didn't obey Jesus. Right, right. Jesus said, do it in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And what did Peter command to do? He commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Be baptized how? In the name of the Lord. Hold thou, Lord! And the Lord said, I'm Jesus. I'm uh, Jesus. Yeah? That's right. All right, keep traveling. Acts chapter 19. Acts 19. And we'll start at verse 1. I'm building on a good foundation here. That's right. What I'm working on, everybody, listen, you that are watching, every religion in the world got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ after you repent, and then you got to come out of the religion that you're in. That's it. You got to come out of that religion because God did not start all these religions that's here now. That's right. You're supposed to be, listen, when Jesus sent his apostles out, they went all around the world preaching the same thing. Mm -hmm. They didn't go around the world starting all these religions yep. and churches and denominations. The devil out of hell started those lies. That's right, man. Listen. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. What is it? And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, and? Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples, he said unto them, All right. Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believe? Yeah. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. What else did Paul ask? And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? And <laughs> they... <laughs> America, America, Canada... Caribbean, Ivory Coast, Amen. Well, unto what how were ye were baptized? You baptized, Amen. I would like to know that. Write me, drop me a line, hmm. Bishop, hmm. Apostle. Amen. I know where you claim you're an apostle, and you don't, you ain't even baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You are possum. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're not you're not an apostle. Not an you apostle. are possum. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 All right. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? I want you that are listening in West Africa over the air tonight. Mm -hmm. How are you baptized? How are you baptized? Mm -hmm. And they said unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. And said what? Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. Who is that on? That is on Christ Jesus. Wait a minute. John said they should believe on him which should that come, come after, after him. him. And who, what that, name, who was that? That is on Christ Jesus. No, that's on the title of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That is on Christ Jesus. No, we should do it in the title of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That is on Christ Jesus. So after Paul told John disciples that, what happened? When they heard this. No, when they, when they rejected. When they heard this. When they fought against. When they heard this. No, they tipped out and left the right. meeting. That's when right. they heard this. No, they argued with Paul. When they heard this. You hear it? That's it. That's right. You hear it? That's right. 
You hear it? When they heard this. When they heard this. They were baptized. No, when they heard this, they accept Christ as their personal savior. When they heard this, they no, were baptized. When they heard this, they gathered around the front and mm -hmm. held a bunch of elders' hand, and the elders repeated a sinner's prayer over all of them. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, when they heard this, they went inside a closet with the priest and made a confession to him. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, when they heard this, they shook the preacher's hand, and the preacher shook him into the chest. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, when they heard this, the preacher told them to pray a sinner's prayer, and now you're a member of the church. When they heard this, this they were baptized. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. <laughs> Hypocrite. That's it. Right. You hear it. When they heard oh, this. Oh, when you stand before God, preaching, this message is going to strip every excuse you yes, ever sir. thought you had. Yes, it will. Eh? When they heard this. Joyce Myers, Joel Allstein, mm -hmm. Benny Hinn, Creflo O'Nickel, and T.D. Snakes, and all, all of you fought Benny Hill, and right. Benny Hinn, and all of you fellas. Amen. Amen. Fred Price, and all of you. All Amen. of them. Every preacher in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. You might, every church in Philadelphia, you might as well padlock your doors. That's Amen. right. Eh? That's Amen. right. What did he say? When they heard this. When they, he heard this. They were baptized. They were baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No, when John the disciples heard it, they was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. What about you, viewer? Amen. What about you, listener? Amen. Read on. When they heard this, they were baptized, they were in, the baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Then what? And when Paul had laid his when hands, upon hands them, on them, the Holy Ghost came on them. And what happened to and, them? And they spake with tongues. And what? And yeah. prophesied. Now, viewer, get what I'm telling you. Wonderful, wonderful. That's the new birth. That's the new when you're born of the water, like Jesus told Nicodemus, you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. When you're born of the Spirit, like he told Nicodemus, you're filled with the Spirit, yep. by the Spirit, from the Spirit. Speaking another tongue as the Spirit of God give others. Nobody that are listening to me now, nobody that are watching me now, is born again at all. Unless you do it like the Bible. Never mind your church organization. Mm -hmm. And this is where so many of you have made a mess. You rather believe what your church organization said right. than what the Bible said. Amen. Right. If you want to go by what the Bible says, pick the Bible up and follow it. That's it. The Bible says, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. That's right. The Bible said the error, not knowing the scripture, nor the power of God. And I remember I debated a Church of Christ man many years ago. Mm -hmm. Many years ago. And uh, baptism was the subject. Mm -hmm. And he thought, he got up and said, I know every scripture he going to get. And every scripture he called, I didn't get. It. That's right. Amen. He thought he knew every scripture that I was going to call, but he didn't. I got one scripture, Colossians 3.17. He said the way you're baptized as Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. That's what you're supposed to say when you're baptized. And I got Colossians 3.17. That deal with what we say right. and what we do. Colossians 3 and verse 17. All right, I want to put it, put it lock, stock, and barrel. And whatsoever ye do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And whatsoever ye do. What? And whatsoever ye do. And what? In word. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. If you pray, that's words. That's right. Words. If you sing, words. Yeah. If you testify, word. Mm -hmm. Preach, words. Whatsoever. When you get ready to say some words when you're baptized, you get, there's some words being said. That's right. Whatsoever you do, do. What? Whatever, whatever you're about to act upon. Right. And whatsoever you do in word, word or deed. Now when you actually do the deed, deed. it got do, it got words, word. it got what come out of your mouth. Right. And it got deed, it deed. got an act. That's right. It got both. Right. It got it all locked up. That's it. What come out of your mouth and the actual act. That's right. How must the words and the act be? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. How much? It? Do all. Come, come here, son. Yes, son. Come here. Come here, son. Come on, son. Not you. Not you. You sit down. Come on, son. Real quick. Come on. Come on. Come on, real quick. 
Come on, let him through here. Come on, sir. What's your name, son? Chase. Read that again. And whatsoever you do in word. All right. Uh, here, here. Uh, I'm making an example to the world. Here's the candidate for baptism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, whatsoever you do in word. So I have to say some words word. over this candidate. Right. And or D. And whatever words I say and whatever D or act I perform on this candidate. How must I do it? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. So the words and the deed got to be how? In the name of the Lord Jesus. The do words it. and the deed got to be how? In the name of the Lord Jesus. The words and the deed got to be how? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. The words and the deed got to be how? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. Am I ready, sir? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wonderful. That's it. Words. Words. Mm. Every church organization in the whole world, Hallelujah. your bishops, your pastors, your overseers. Amen. He can call himself an apostle. I don't care. If he's not baptized and you not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter the position you hold in the church. You're still in your sins. That's right. Amen. Who, Pastor Jennings? Everybody. Everybody. You're still in your sins. That's right. Man. Unless you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Don't you hear Peter say it got to be done for the remission? For the remission of sins. Remission means removal. Right. For the removal. Right. Remission of sins is for the removal of your sins. That's right. Amen. And Jesus even said that repentance and removal of sins. That's right. He used the term remission there. Yeah. Should be preached how? In his name. In his name. Even Jesus told you when you preach about getting your sins removed, yep. do it in his in name. His name. Yeah. That repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. In his name. Among and, all and, nations. And where should we take it? Beginning at Jerusalem. Where should we take it? At Jerusalem. Where should we take it? At Jerusalem. Uh, among all nations. Among all nations. nations. Take it among all nations. All and we're going to begin, begin at, Jerusalem. at Jerusalem. Amen. Now, viewers, Wonderful. are you hard head? Are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. You might as well flood me now with emails, Not crying well. out, I want to be baptized. That's Amen. right. Africa, right me. From all, the whole continent, hmm. all of America, all of Canada, all yeah. of South America, all of Alaska, all of Poland, Germany, Portugal, Russia, Asia, Japan, everything, everybody. Sweden. Amen. All me. Sweden. Australia. Certainly. Australia. Rome. Italy. Oh, yeah. Everybody Amen. that hear the truth of God message. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't even waste your time to even listen to nothing else because they ain't even preaching nothing else. Mm -hmm. Right. God wants you to be holy. Holy. And to be holy, you got to repent of your sins. Okay. Who? You. Hey, rich man. You. You think you ain't got to be baptized? Oh, you think your money is what got you on God's good terms. Let me ask you a question, rich man. Were you born rich? Was you born with dollars in your hips? No. You was born naked. Naked. Empty. And broke. Broke. Going out the same way. Same way. That's right. Every human under the sun got to obey what Jesus said. Amen. And if not, you're going to go to an everlasting hell. Amen. It doesn't matter if you're on your deathbed. You can call for a priest and walk around your body with smoke like he's trying to make smoke jerky out of you. That's right, mm. sir. Too late, sir. Too late now. Too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Amen. You can walk around like you're going to make jerk turkey out of you. Huh. <laughs> you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Bunch of smoked meat. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. That's oh, right. Oh, no. Repent. You got to repent. Right. You got Church of God in Christ. The entire movement Everybody. is on her way on to you. hell because yeah. you're not born again. That's right. That's right. Church of God in prophecy. Church of the living God and Church of Christ and many of you so-called apostolics is not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're just baptized in Jesus' name. Jesus name. No, that's wrong. No. 
That's wrong. That's Amen. right. The apostles didn't baptize simply in Jesus' name. No, no. There's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. Right. You had Bar Jesus by interpretation, name was Elumis. Yes. And uh, he was a false prophet. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was a Jew. Jews. False right. prophet. And uh, you had one called Jesus Justice, who was a fellow laborer yes, with Brother Paul. Right. And you had the brother of Jacob in the Old Testament, Esau, which is Arabic for Jesus. And you had uh, Moses' minister, Joshua, Joshua, but in Hebrew it's pronounced Hashua, yes, right. which is Hebrew for Jesus. Right. But nevertheless, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of Jesus out here. Yeah. Yeah. A whole lot of them called Jesus. That's right. Lot, and the apostles ain't never baptized nobody, nobody. simply in Jesus' name. Nobody. Nobody. Man. Nobody. Nobody. Amen. So you apostolic that's up baptized in Jesus' name, you, you, your sin's not washed away either. That's right. Not even you. You got to go back and get it just like that's it's true. written. Like Listen, now, let, let's close out with we got the same spirit mm -hmm. according to as it's written. As it is written. I believe, therefore, that's have right. I spoken. That's right. I want to close out with that. Second Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 4. Follow me, viewers and listeners. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Chapter 4. And at verse 13. All right. We have in the same spirit of faith. Now, viewers, same spirit of belief. Do you believe what the apostles believe? Right. Write me a line. Do you believe? I was reading a letter, amen, from a woman that used to be at some church in Tallahassee, Florida. Mm -hmm. Want to convince me about divorce and all, and flesh and blood is in heaven. Listen. You folk that believe you can divorce, stop wasting your time writing me. You're not going to change me. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. You that trying to convince me that flesh and blood is in heaven, we'll pick that subject up later. But I want to strip it apart and demonstrate birth and resurrection right. and break it down. Flesh and blood didn't come from heaven. Flesh and blood ain't never been to heaven. No. That's right. Huh? Amen. And never will go to heaven. Never will. Never will. Eh? That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 Want to convince me you can divorce? No, no, no. Amen. Tell God that. Amen. Eh? Because I, I didn't put it in the Bible. That's no. right. God said He hate putting away. That's right. If He said it, you might as well shut your mouth and Amen. stay in prison. That's, That's right. right. All right. We having the same spirit of faith. We got the same spirit of faith. According. According. As it is written. Wait a minute. We got to believe what's written. According as Health. And if we gonna believe what's written, what we say in baptism have to be what was written. That's, That's right. right. Man. That's right. Oh yeah. If we're gonna believe what's written, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. nowhere what the apostle said over anybody. That's right, sir. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost nowhere. upon the authority of Christ. Right. Nowhere. 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 It's not written, sir. No, yeah, yeah. Nowhere no. did the apostles say over anybody. I baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. And what, how we must do this? According as it is written. written. How must we do this? We having the same spirit of faith. Wait a minute. See, that opening statement is important. That's right. We have the different spirit. The same spirit. No, we got a different spirit. The same spirit. Well, if you got the same spirit like they have, what yeah. you going to do what they done. That's right. The way they done it. That's right. Same God. Wonderful. Do you hear this? We having the same spirit. Are you are you faith. listening to this? We have the same good chapter and verse again. Oh, Second four. Corinthians chapter four and verse thirteen. Second Corinthians four thirteen. We having the same spirit. We of faith. have the same spirit of faith. According. According. As it is written. According to as the rule book of the Church of God in Christ. According as it is written. No, according to as the rule book of the Church of the Living God. According as it is written. According to the documents of England. According as it is written according to the apostles creed a from the catholic church according as it is written according to the lutherans according as it is written according to joseph smith and brigham young according as it is written no according to geno Genesis. according as it is written right. wonderful according to what brethren according as it is written according to what written. what i said written. what written. right written, sir. i don't believe nothing viewer Nothing. Did, did, I, did I stutter? I don't believe nothing. Except to be written. Except it's written. That's it. They got to be written. That's right. Otherwise, no, I don't believe nothing. No. Uh, but according. As it is written. As it is written. 
I believe. Then I believe it. I believe. You want me to believe something? All you got to do is show me what's written, what's written and right. then be able to break it down right. and interpret it right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Huh? That's Amen. right. Huh? Oh, that's all you got to do. That's all you got Amen. to do. Show me what's written and then Amen. be able to break it down Amen. and explain it and open it up so it, and interpret it right. Amen. Because when you interpret it and explain it, it can't contradict what's written. That's right. What did it say there? We having the same spirit of faith. And you got the same spirit of faith? Same spirit. Same spirit. Do you got the same spirit of faith? Of faith. What is your faith? faith. Baptist? Well, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. That's not their faith. No. Their faith wasn't called Baptist. Oh, your faith is called apostolic. That's right. Wrong. That's right, sir. That's right, sir. You like Trump? Wrong. Wrong. That's it. <laughs> That's right. You're a Methodist? Wrong. wrong. That's right. <laughs> You're a Pentecostal? Wrong. 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 That's right. <laughs> Come on and write, Pastor Jennings, and tell me the name of your faith. Name of your faith. Write me right. and right. tell me the name of your faith. I had a man uh, who worked with my son, and he saw my telecast. He go to 22nd and Bainbridge Street. And uh, he told my son after he saw my telecast, he said, I did not know that apostolic and holiness were totally two different things. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is two different things. One is in the Bible and the other is not. No, that's right. right. Two different things. Sir. Right. You that say it's the same, then you shouldn't have no problem emailing me the scripture. Yep, There's right. someone that emailed me from the tape player group and said apostolic is written in the second chapter of the book of Isaiah. Read that quick. Okay. I know it's not there, but I just well, want to read, read it anyway, anyway <laughs> uh, for the profitableness right. of the believer. Isaiah chapter 2, we're at verse 1. Uh, listen, the reason why I know it's not there, because there wasn't even no apostles in the Old Testament. That's, That's right. right. And if there was no apostles in the Old Testament, I know the word apostolic wasn't there. That's right. right. You're so foolish, you're so blind, you're so deceived of your daddy, the daddy. Amen. Amen. All right. Isaiah chapter 2, we're at verse 1. What is that? The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, the saw. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw. Concerning Judah concerning and Jerusalem. Concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days. Who? That the mountain of the Lord's house. Who house is it? Mountain of the Lord's house. It's the Lord's house. The Lord's house is the Lord's church. That's right. And it shall be established in the top of the mountain. And shall be exalted above the hills. And how much? And all nations shall flow unto it. Listen, in the Lord's house, Lord's house. there's a faith. Right, yes, there is. Sir. There's a faith that's being taught. That is, yes, sir. In God's house. That's God's right, house, sir. That's to it. govern that's it. God's church. That's Amen. right. Amen. And God's faith. God's Hallelujah to God. Wonderful. Has a name. That's right. That governs. His church. Amen. Amen. We're going to show you the name of that faith. Finish up. Yes. And many people shall go and say. Many people shall go and say. Come ye. No, many people shall go and say I'm apostolic. Many people shall go and say. Come no, ye. many people shall go and say I'm apostolic. Many people shall go and say. Many people come shall ye. go and say I'm apostolic or apostolic. Many people shall go and say. Come ye. Do you listen? Yeah. Do you even know where your title came from? All my apostolic so-called brethren. <laughs> do you know where your title came from? You don't know, do you? You didn't check? Oh, you thought it came from Bishop Johnson? It was here before he was born. It didn't come from Bishop Lawson. It didn't come from Azusa Street, somewhere in California. No, it didn't come from there. It came from Rome. That's right. That's right. All the Catholic folks. Right? Came from Italy. Yeah. That's where it come from. Europe. That's right. The Europeans called themselves apostolic and declared themselves to be the direct descendants of the original church. My Lord. Liar. That's a lie. And because this revelation didn't come to you. Mm -hmm. You went around proclaiming what the Catholics claimed. That's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I used to be guilty. Amen. Amen. But my father have not left me alone. Mm -hmm. And the light kept shining brighter 
and brighter and he elevated me he promoted me yeah. glory to God from apostolic and moved me to be back to the original thing wonderful. that's right wonderful holy holy amen because there's only one thing all down through the bible only and it's holy that's it holy for james holy for john holy yeah. for isaiah holy for ezekiel holy for all the prophets yeah, holy right. for the apostles there's one thing all down that's through right. the bible that's right god says holiness without, without. without which no man shall see the lord yeah tell me can you bring me your faith uh, and put it in the Bible where God said, I can't see him unless I'm your faith. Mm. Show me how strong your faith is. That's right. Thank God I'm able to take my faith and throw it to the world. That's right. And I'm able to tell you, nobody in the world mm. is going to see God mm. in peace, peace, peace unless you're holy. That's, That's it. it. Man. Man. That's right. Man. He said, holiness without. Holiness without Holiness with You know what he said? That's right Holiness without No man That's what the word of God says That's right Holiness without In Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14 Listen at this Follow peace with all men Follow peace That's why so many of you confused yeah. Apostolic, apostolic, non-denominational, Pentecostal Where in the world all this trash come from? The devil did it. That's right. Confusion. Just look in your neighborhood and count all the churches and look at all the different faiths they call themselves. Yeah. Listen at the Bible. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14. Oh, yes. Follow peace with all men uh -huh. and holiness without which. Holiness. holiness. Without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me for me to see the Lord, I got to be holy? And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Hmm. But no, I'm Pentecostal. No man shall see the Lord. But I'm Lutheran. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Oh, Pastor Jennings, that's, that's a lifestyle. You got to have a faith to live by. Faith. That's right. It's Amen. more than a lifestyle. That's right. That's right. It's the faith that teach you the lifestyle. That's right. And the faith have a name. In That's Jude right. chapter 1. Give me right. Jude chapter 1. And at verse 20. Right, as, but ye beloved. Church. Building, when it says ye beloved, oh, yeah. talking to the church. That's right. Ye beloved. Building up yourselves. Listen. Oh, Lord, thank God I got something that just justified and certified to build me up. That's right. right. Eh? Building up yourself. Building up yourself. On. On what? Your most holy, holy faith. I'm built on what? Your most holy faith. And that's the foundation that's built upon the apostles Hallelujah. and prophets that's right. and Jesus Christ himself. That's Chief right. Chief cornerstone. Is the chief cornerstone. Chief cornerstone. Chief cornerstone. cornerstone. In whom all the builders fit me. Frame together. Framed together. Glorious. And to an apostolic temple, no, unto a no. holy temple, holy. and to a holy temple, holy temple, holy. unto the Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Amen. Come on, you fighters. Come on. Amen. Amen. Show me the name of your faith. Still waiting. Don't refer me to no popular man. He don't mean nothing to me. Oh, That's right. Show me the name of your faith, mm -hmm. and I'll show you the name of my faith. That's Amen. right. Eh? That's Amen. right. Hallelujah to Amen. God. Show me. Go ahead. Amen. If you're a Lutheran, show me in the Bible right. where anybody was Lutheran. Show right. it to me. Right. Wonderful. You're Pentecostal. Show me anybody in the Bible that says their faith was Pentecostal. That's right. Amen. You're evangelical. Amen. Mm. Show me that. Show me in the Bible. That's show right. That. Show me that. So. That's right. You're seven day Adventist? Show me in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Where Jesus and his apostles were running around saying they faith is seven day Adventist. Amen. Amen. You're Mormons? Show me in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Where Ramona was here. That's right. Amen. New York wasn't even here. That's it. Sir. No. That's it. Sir. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's true. Amen. New York wasn't even here. That's, That's right. right. It's true, sir. What am I doing? Encouraging the world. Come on back to holiness. That's it. And Come on back. Hallelujah. Come on back. That's it. Old man master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, if God says a highway. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Glory to God shall be there. And 
away. A way. Then he said, it shall be called. The way. The way. Of holiness. Read that. Read, I, read that so I, the television viewers can get this. Because I know you're upset with me. I know you're angry. I know you're oh, mad. I yes. know you're upset. And it doesn't matter. That's you right. won't get that upset that holiness is going to come out the Bible. That's right. Man. Oh, let's Baptist and Presbyterian and Lutheran and non-denominational and Pentecostal and apostolic and this. Where in the world you people come, come from? from? Amen. And they claim you believe the Bible. You're liars. Hallelujah. Don't you hear the Bible talking? Isaiah chapter 35 and at verse 8. Parliament. And a an highway shall be there. A highway. Highway. Let you know you're going somewhere. That's, That's right. We got we to we got go somewhere and we're laboring to get to God. Amen. A highway shall be there and? And a way. Spell way. W-A-Y. No, W-A-I-S. W-A-Y. No, W-A-I-S. W-A-Y. How many ways is that, brothers? One. How many? One. How many? One. How many? One. One. A way. A way. That's one way, sir. A way. Amen. I want to soak you a little. Amen. One gate. One gate. This is a telecast that calls ruckus. Yes, oh, sir. yes. Amen. Straight gate, sir. It <laughs> calls social media ruckus, internet ruckus, oh, yeah. radio ruckus. Radio uh, ruckus. Eh? That's right. Television ruckus. That's right. right. And a highway shall be there. Highway! Yes. Shall be there. It, it's the, it's, it shall be there. Shall be there. And what? And a way. What shall it be called? And it shall be called the way. The way of Lutheran. Of holiness. Holiness. The, the way of Catholic. The way of holiness. The way of Mormon. Of holiness. The way of Pentecostal. The way of holiness. I want to say to every preacher out there that believe in holiness, holiness. Yeah, contact man. us. Yeah, That's like right. so many hundreds are doing. That's right. Amen. Preachers by the numbers contacting us. Amen. Wanting to be holy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some preachers that used to have apostolic on their building took it off. Amen. They used to brag, I'm apostolic, I'm the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostolic. They took it off. Took it off. Now they're saying holiness. No, no. That's right. Yeah. Now, holiness now. Holiness. now you, you, can, you, can, you can hear men getting over the radio. No. On holy. This, this, we believe in holiness. Holiness. Right. A lot of them don't really believe it, but they're saying it anyway. That's right. right. That's right. Why? Wonderful. Wonderful. They see the revelation of it. That's right. Huh? That's right. They see it. And some of these are some of the same ones that fought us and said I was wrong and I'm preaching against apostolic. No, I believe in what the apostles believe. Right. But there's not a name or a faith that's faith. called apostolic faith right. in the Bible. If it is, shut me up and write me. That's uh, right. That's all you got to do. That's it. Bring forth your witnesses. That's it. Get in the scripture you like. I dive into it and take it apart. That's, That's right. all I ask is you come on and bring the scripture. I'll right. talk to you. That's oh, right. Yes, you will. Oh, yeah. Certainly I will. Same. If you're an apostle no problem. and you got apostolic on your building, reason, apostle, yeah. you in error. In error. Amen. In fact, you got to lie on there. That's yeah. right. The apostles ain't never called what they believe apostolic. No. Never. No, no. Here's what the Bible called the faith. They are built up. Building, back in Jude 1 and at verse 20. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Are you most apostolic? Amen. Or That's most right. holy? Most holy. Most faith. Most holy faith. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Most holy. What did Isaiah say? And a an highway shall be there. How are you traveling? And a way. And a way. And it shall be called the way. What is God's way called? Of holiness. Who's not allowed on God's way? The unclean shall not pass over. Can't go there, sir. <laughs> Amen. No, sir. Who is not allowed? The unclean shall not pass over. It. Woman preacher? Mm. Anything that's unclean ain't getting over there. No. That's right. Three gods. Living together, not married, remarried and divorced. Amen. Unclean. Gambling and all that. You ain't, that's unclean. That's right. Huh? That's right. Homosexual, that's unclean. That's unclean. Men and women wearing makeup and eyebrow arching and, hey amen, got all these gold teeth in your mouth. All uh -huh. that's unclean. Unclean. Unclean, sir. Huh? The unclean. Earrings, finger rings, fake fingernails, pink nails, orange toes. That's Red it. face, burgundy lips, unclean, green eyebrows. What in the world's wrong with you? Leave the circus and be born again. That's right. That's right, man. Amen.
Amen. Ah! Amen. One of us, one of us. Human family, human family, come on! Preach it. All right, take. Go get ready to do what God said. Go ahead. Man. God said you're unclean. Shall not pass over. It doesn't matter what your bishop said. Your bishop can jump and shout and fall out and wallow on the floor. That's right. And knock you down like he's bowling. Amen. Amen. That's right, sir. But Amen. when that jack leg get back up, yeah. you're going to come on back to what the Bible said. That's right. Amen. All of you folks that's fighting on internet, that doesn't matter. I don't even feel your blows. That's Amen. right. I don't feel it. That's no. right. You have to come on back to what the Holy Ghost said. That's right. it. And the Holy Ghost said what? The unclean shall not pass over. No, unclean ain't getting over. But it no. shall be for I those. I dare anyone under the sun tell me you're going to get into God's kingdom being anything else anything other else. than holy. That's right. That's right, sir. Anybody? That's it. That's right. Bring forth. That's right. Anybody? Anybody. Don't get a customer. Holiness without which no, no man shall see the Lord. That scripture, listen, that scripture goes from earth to heaven That's and it. from heaven back down to earth. Amen. It's too high. You're not getting over. Can't get over it. Too wide. You That's ain't right. going around it. That's right. You can't duck under it. It just, it just can't evade it. Can't evade it. Man. Wonderful. Isaiah says what? And a an highway shall be there. What else? And a way. A way. A way. A way. One way. Mm -hmm. Straight gates. One way. And what is that one way called? And it shall be called the way of holiness. Holiness. The way of holiness. Amen. It's called what? The way of holiness. holiness. Amen. Amen. It shall be called what? The way of holiness. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Then that makes me right. That's right. That's right. Mm, That's right. I'm right to say apostolic is not the Bible. I'm right. You're right. That's right. I'm right to say Pentecostal is not in there. I'm right. Amen. There's no such faith that's called that in the Bible. That's right. God did not call his way that. No, no. You did it. Amen. That's right. Mm. Man took it upon himself to do it. And God come along to undo what man done. That's right. And in order for him to undo it, he sent a man oh, to preach yeah. against what man done. Yeah. Thank God that I am one of those men that God sent Amen. to undo what men have done. That's yeah. right. Yeah. may not like it, but I'm sent to do it. Don't like it. Don't like what it. What did he say? That it shall be called. Our highway. Shall be there. Shall be there. And a way. A way. One way. One way. That's right, sir. One setup. One That's way, right. Sir. One body. Sir. Every church that got apostolic on your building, you sin. Yes. Amen. Now and say, well, Pastor Jennings, give me Bible that is wrong to have it there. Go back to Corinthians. Back in 2 mm -hmm. Corinthians. Having the same four. spirit. Back back in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. You didn't know I had Bible? Mm. I'm about to put you in it right now. That's right. All right. We having the same spirit of faith. All right, if you got the same belief. And the same spirit that they have. Faith. You won't say what they didn't say. That's right. What else? According as it is written. According to as it is written. I believe. And. Wait, wait, wait. According as it is what? According as it is written. And I, I believe. Hold that and go back to Colossians 3.17. Back in yeah. Colossians 3 and verse 17. I want to crush even putting apostolic on your building. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You didn't know I can do that? Amen. Certainly I can. Amen. Amen. Colossians 3 17 Amen. says, And whatsoever ye do, hold it. When you're building a building, you do something. Preach it, brother. Amen. Or you rent a building, you do something. Amen. That's right. When you congregate, you're doing something. That's right. What? And whatsoever ye do in word. Hold it! They make a church sign. That's words. That's words. That's words. Mm. Said not the banner. When you put up a banner, that's yeah. words. Man. Name of the Lord. Sir. Wonderful. Sir. Whatsoever you do. Oh, oh yeah. God. Oh. Did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever you do. Man. Whatsoever ye do in word. And word or man. do. Oh. Listen. When he write the words. Mm. The actual deed is when they put the sign together. That's right. Do all. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now go back to Corinth. Back in 2 Corinthians 4 and see how the word 13. and deed balance out with this. Give chapter and verse. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. That's what? We having the same spirit of faith. Got the same spirit of belief. According as it is written. Wait a minute. 
According as it is what? According as it is written. Is apostolic faith written? No. No. Is apostolic faith written? No, no. no. Now, and how do we supposed to be? According as it is How do we supposed to be? The same spirit. Same of, spirit of what? Of faith. Same spirit. Amen. Same spirit of belief. Amen. Same listen. That same spirit that moved on them. Yep. Yeah. Supposed to be in you. Amen. That's right. So you apostolic shouldn't be fighting me. No. Shouldn't be. That's right. That's right. Sir. Because the Holy Ghost in you is here. Amen. That's yeah. right. That's Amen. It. That's it. That's it. That's it, sir. Amen. 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 You're right. It's not in the Bible. It's not, not there, sir. Not there. And we're supposed to have the same, the same spirit, spirit of faith according. According as it is written. According where? As it is written. So that means this. You got to go to somewhere. That's written, written that's it. in that Bible, Amen. and find where the apostles mm -hmm. at any time called their faith mm -hmm. apostolic. Amen. We're waiting, sir. According to what? As it As is written. As it is written. As it is written. What? I believe. I believe. And therefore, therefore, have I spoken? So therefore, you shouldn't even be saying it. That's right. You, you shouldn't even be speaking it. Right. Because it's not written. That's right. Only things for that come out your mouth for to be that is which is written. according to the faith. That's right. Amen. 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 Take it off your building. Amen. Mm. Misrepresentation. Sir. There's a misrepresentation of faith. Amen. That's right. Amen. You got our Lord Jesus Christ right name. Apostolic, wrong name of faith. Amen. That's right. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, right name. Of the apostolic faith, wrong name. Amen. That's Amen. right. Amen. Jude says, Back I'm, in Jude, I'm closing out. Back in Jude 1 and 20. With this. But ye beloved, God willing, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. All down through the Bible, all, all you see is holy prophets, all in the Bible. holy yeah. apostles. Bump up on it everywhere. So. Yeah, so that's the only way. I, you bump up on it every everywhere place. You go, everywhere everywhere you turn. And here's this Amen. modern garbage come out of Rome, Italy, and done corrupt the churches from A to Z. And Amen. they shall call them the holy people. Yeah. Do you hear Isaiah? Isaiah chapter Amen. 62 and at verse 12. Begin at verse 11. At verse 11. What is it? Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed. No, Pastor Jennings. The Lord hath proclaimed. Who in the world will fight this for the heathen? Right. That's right, sir. Who will reject this for the stubborn hypocrite? That's, That's right. Do you hear what the word of God said? Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed. The Lord. Don't, yeah. don't get over the air and tell folk that's Geno Genesis doctrine. No. Who's this? The Lord yeah. hath proclaimed. I'm not the Lord. Right. The Lord hath proclaimed. Unto the end of the world. Amen. Right. How far did this go? Unto the end of the world. That what? Say ye to the daughter of Zion. Tell the daughter of what you mean? Tell the church. That's right. Zion is the church. That's right. Uh -huh. Behold, thy salvation cometh. Yeah. Behold, his reward is with him. Uh -huh. And his work before them. Yeah. And they shall call them. And they shall call them. The holy people. Amen. Amen. Everywhere you turn. Everywhere. You know, this is so beautiful, beautiful. to have a faith that's yeah. all, all smeared in the body. That's right. That's right. right. Man. That's smeared all in the body. Right. That's right. That's right. All right, listeners, you heard it. Continue to write us. Repent of your sins. It's what everybody got to do. Amen. There's anybody here who want to obey the Bible? And get on God's side and come out of your wickedness. High time, High time. It's time to do it now. High time, sir. High if you want to be baptized the right way, the Bible way, the Bible God's way. way, in the name of Jesus Christ, if you want that, stand on your feet. Amen. Anybody? If not, we're still fishing. still fishing. That's right. You that are watching on television or on internet or listening on radio, who we got? We got one. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. We got two. Wonderful.
All right, sisters, come on, get them together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where's Taj the evangelist? <laughs> Glory to God. Go get them ready. Now, you that are watching around the world, this is your opportunity. When you come on and email me now, oh, yeah. because baptism is for you too. I don't care where you live. If you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you are not saved. Not saved. Lord, Lord. Everyone that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you just got wet. That's it. Your bishop, your founder of your organization, all of you didn't do nothing but get nothing wet. Get wet, wet sir must do it in the, name. in the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Covered a lot of ground today. Amen. They heard it too. Or it take God and there's no getting around from it. It must be done God's way. We can't get from it. God established it henceforth, now, and forevermore. forevermore. I believe one scripture says, The zeal of the Lord of hosts has performed this. Come back this evening at 6 o'clock. We'll be in prayer. And remember, time is approaching for our closing year conference. It'll be the first conference held on our new campus. And we thank God for it. Let us all stand. Brother Minister Dan will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you again, Lord God, for your kindnesses and your tender mercy towards all of us. We pray, Lord God, your blessed upon all the hearers and the viewers at this very hour. My God, that every soul will take the word of God to heart. My God, and make the right decision touching the eternal salvation of their souls. Bless our leader at this hour, I pray, O oh God. Give him strength continually. All the ministering brethren everywhere, let thy word go out through the four corners of the earth, that men and women everywhere may realize that thou art a God that ruleth in the kingdom of men. These things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ.